Hey, what's up, guys? We are back at again to showcase the best decks in Clash Royale for the double evolution tournament that Clash Royale just put on. So if you didn't know, Clash Royale is going to be testing out double evolutions in game, and uh, we're going to be testing out the best decks that have reached the top of the leaderboard. So we're going to go and scroll over to the double evolution tournament, go all the way to the top, and the number two player is going to be playing this deck. So we're going to go and copy it. I formulated these decks before the live stream for you guys, so you don't have to wait around. This deck right here is also pretty fun. We'll be playing that later. But uh, yeah, should have a good time here. So this Mega Knight deck, it's revolving around spamming as many archers as possible and as many bats as possible. So you can get those evolutions on the field. And you don't even have Little Prince. You're going to have Wall Breakers to bait out your opponent's small spells, so then they don't have the spells for the archers or the bats. Or conversely, the archers and bats bait out spells, then the opponents get blasted by the Wall Breakers. The arrows plus fireball allows you to eliminate electro dragons if you guys are unaware so if opponents have like a mega knight counter of electro dragon battle healer you can fireball and arrows that and then you're not gonna have to worry about losing the game so smart strategy from the guy at number two in the world and let's go check it out let's see how it works i want to show you guys a variety of different decks so no matter what type of player you are you're gonna have a special deck formulated for you so we're going to go wall breakers in the back and we're going to split them because we want to identify is my opponent going to drop a range card that we could snipe. Also, we can go and pull back a Valkyrie like this and then the wall breaker is a bit of a nuisance for our opponent. He has to spend more elixir there. I'm going to arrows. I think I did miss some of them, but it's fine. It's only like one of them and that will die to the tower anyway. Then we can Mega Knight here or we could activate King Tower with a Bandit. I think I want to go and activate King Tower with the Bandit. If possible, that would be really, really cool. And then we can go in for bats on top of the Firecracker. So overall, not the best thing. I have to go for wall breakers to pull back the Valkyrie and not lose the game. So <laughs> looking like we're playing against someone with a fast cycle hog rider deck. Don't necessarily know what other cards he's going to have, like what building he's going to have, but looking pretty good. We'll take it. We'll take the start right now. I'm using Evo Recruit Shrek Rage Mini Packer. That is one of the decks we're going to be showing later, man. It's a really strong deck. Don't forget to like for his dedication. Yeah, if you guys like the video, it goes a long way. It helps me out and supports the channel and allows me to do more streams and more videos in the future. So a huge thank you to uh, Brawls for reminding everyone. And of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I just want to throw that out there. All right, I'm going to go in for a Bandit here. We should be able to go in Snipe, and then we want to go in for Archers as quickly as we can so we can get to the Evolution. The guy actually has Mega Knight with Valkyrie, so I was not really prepared for that. Not going to lie. That was not on the uh, list of cards that I was ready to play into. So we're going to go for a Miner on Defense, and because our opponent surprised us with a Mega Knight, we actually got put in a pretty scuffed position. Not gonna lie, that did mess with me a bit mentally. I think that we kind of have to go in for a Mega Knight here. Unless we arrows, and that's also okay, because then we can get a Bandit down. Man, I should have arrowed a little bit more decisively, because if I arrowed earlier, then we would have been in a much better spot. And I, I didn't have Elixir for Mega Knight, so he kind of finessed me there. Alright, anyway, we can go for Archers, and then I think we can go for probably Wall Breakers to go and pull these back. We don't lose any damage to our tower. Um, and then he tried to arrows on the archers, but he doesn't kill them. I don't think he realizes that like evil archers are pretty OP. Now we can go for evil bats plus that and try to break through because if we can keep the archers alive a little bit longer, we might be able to just win the game. All right, we're in 100% arrows on top of those minions. And notice because we've got evolved cards and our opponent doesn't necessarily take the evolved cards initiative as much as us, he's going to take a lot of damage. So that's one thing that I've realized like evolved cards are a little bit unfair. So try to get as much as you possibly can out of them. So he's going to arrows. I think that we still are able to kill this. Oh, the Mega Knight uh, plus Bandit. The Bandit didn't dash. That kind of sucks. All right, he's going to Mega Knight on top of this. So let's try to go Bats. And then, oh, Evo Barbs. Did not expect that to come down. My bad. Evo cards are strong. going to arrows on top of the minion. Um, no minions. Rip. Really hoping he would. All right, let's try to Fireball this back. Because we've got King Tower activated. We might be okay. We might be screwed. No way. <laughs> Did I just lose the first game of the day? I always lose the first game of the day. There isn't a single day where I don't lose the first game. I I think it's in our religion right now at this point. <laughs> Last live stream we lost the first game and then here we are losing the first game too. Classic tag losing first game. I know, I know. It's really, it's really a meme. It's really a meme at this point. I meant to split our archers, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Zeus might have lightning, but he's not going to strike us down. Dude, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's, it's, such, it's such a meme. There isn't a single time. I think I need to play the first game off stream so then I lose it. And then after I lose the first game, then I'm okay afterward. You guys feel me on that or no? The curse continues. I know. It's just straight up a curse at this point. 
If you guys go back and watch all my live streams, I literally lose the first game every time. You don't even have to like watch the first game. You can just skip through it. Just know that I'm gonna take an L. It's too funny to see that happen. The warm up game. Yeah, I should play like an uber defensive deck instead of like a Mega Knight deck because a lot of times if you're playing a really defensive deck, you're not gonna get broken through even if you're playing poorly, right? Like I can run fast cycle cards and bail myself out of situations nine times out of 10. Just something to learn, I guess. Kind of funny. We should have activated King Tower there. Eduardo, thank you for the $2 says, I uh, love you, bro. Um, we have in our match. Uh, I don't play against people on these type of live streams. I do 1v1 live streams and if you beat me, then I give you pass morale. I will be sending all, all the pass rallies from the people that beat me last month uh, pretty soon. So that'll be cool. But yeah, just make sure that like, you know, you know you're know you you're talking about that on the right live stream because certain live streams I do not do that. Also, one of the things I realized is it's kind of chaotic. Like these, this game mode is really chaotic compared to normal. Most of the time I can identify my opponent's card cycle and be okay, but this is like one of those moments where I'm like, what am I playing into? Also, is this the exact same deck I just matched into before? Are we playing against bots? I'm so confused. <laughs> Why do they all have the same deck? <laughs> What's wrong with this game? No way. I think we matched in the exact same deck. That's funny. Right? It's, it's a Hog Rider Valkyrie deck, and maybe he's going to have a random Mega Knight in there, too. We'll have to wait and see. You guys believe he's going to have Mega Knight or nah? We're waiting for the curse to go away. I know. We really are. Next live stream, maybe. Possibly. Possibly we'll win the next live stream without uh, losing the first game. It's okay, we win all these other games. It doesn't really matter from that perspective. Like, we know for a fact we win this, right? <laughs> this one's light work. We're gonna go in for archers here. He's probably gonna go in for a hog rider soon. So we're fine, we can just go and kite that to the other side and then go for our bats. And then feel pretty comfortable with the minor on defense or a fireball. But I mean, yeah, I'm gonna fireball just in case he's gonna have random arrows in his deck or something. I don't know, I don't trust these players anymore. After getting arrowed on my archers last time, I was just like, you know, I don't feel like losing another game, so we're not going to. How about that? We just don't lose. It's just, it's just that simple, you know? Just win. Just win. That's the that's the strategy. But yeah, we do win this one. We're gonna go archers at the river to prevent any magical firecracker from locking onto us. We go bats here, and we do win this game. Nice. Cool. Uh, hey, Tag, you help me a lot with my mental health because of your videos. Yeah, man, I just try to have fun, and I'm glad that you can enjoy me having fun in a video game that I enjoy. <laughs> the cycle of enjoyment continues. Hey, what's up, Shelly? What's going on? Where did the name Sir Tag come from? Uh, there's a joke with Tag, and then it just kind of escalated, and we ended up getting Sir Tag afterward, eventually. It took a while, but it happened. All right, so this deck is great. Obviously, you want to spam archers in the back and then really get a lot of damage, potentially from your wall breakers or your evolved archers allowing you to get opportunities. So we'll show it one more game. This will be my last game with this deck, and then we'll switch to another deck afterward. The wall breakers again in the back is never a bad play because if you have minor, you can go and catch your opponent's anti-air cards or their range cards. Like for instance, right now, both of the archers are going in targeting on top of the, the wrong stuff. So both wall breakers connect. So that's something that a lot of people don't necessarily do. It's a good play though. Also, that bandit was phenomenal as well. We made sure the bandit was right next to the fisherman. So the fisherman would have targeted the bandit. But because the bandit was right next to the tower, the fisherman would target that as well. So um, that was a good, just a good decision overall. Since we do have evil archers, I think that we're fine against goblin giants. Even if he fireballs, that's a lot of elixir spent. Spent six elixir with a goblin giant, four elixir with a fireball, and now he has to deal with a counter push. So I can just go for wall breakers here and then abandon. And I think we might have won the game. It's going to be hard for him to defend this because both wall breakers should connect. And then he loses the bullet. As you guys can see, as we start to warm up, as we start to use our brain cells just a little bit more, the game's become exponentially easier for me. The first game of the day, for whatever reason, it's like I'm powering on a computer. I don't know how to use my brain yet. And then we start to destroy people. <laughs> I already lost two cis trials. It's all good, man. I lost one at the start. Everyone loses here and there. And if you have one bad game, take a little bit of a break, come back to it, and you'll pop off. You never really worry about winning or losing your first game or losing or winning in general. Like, this is also an experiment, right? This is the evolution draft that there's two of the or not evolution draft there's two evolutions it's an evolution tournament that no one else has played before right so it's interesting that you're in a new environment and you're testing things out that you haven't played before so especially if you're losing in this don't feel too bad about yourself we're gonna fireball so we can knock back the little prince so the mega knight can jump onto the tower and knowing that interaction allowed us to finish off the little prince too nice let's go imagine if i commentated saying that i finished off the little prince and then it didn't finish off the little prince because it didn't actually happen just yet and i was like uh oh, i think it does kill it and i was right all right, so he's going to go Goblin Giant. We'll just go Bats uh, as soon as we can so we can get to the evolution. But the Evolved Archers are really puts in work. I do like this deck a lot. I think this might be one of the main decks that I play 
on my main account when I start to push for this tournament and see how far we can get. Uh, we can fireball or we can miner and arrows, and I think miner plus arrows is fine as well. We do kill the bat that way. And we can go for our own bats here. And then we should be fine with the fireball and defense. I need to fireball this though. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please stop the goblin giant from hurting me right now. Man, goblin giant is a strong card. What the heck? <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, it didn't hit. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. As you guys can see, the bowler does not one-shot archers, so that is a very cool interaction. He might fireball in time. We'll see. Oh, he does. We're not good. I thought we were good. I overcommitted. It feels bad. <laughs> oh, man. He's probably going to drop something in the middle right now that's really obnoxious, but we'll see. as I do the exact same strategy that I was saying that you would do. Maybe one of the wall breakers will connect. Oh, both of them connected. Cool. We take that. We actually vibe with that heavily. Okay, so we should probably go for bats as soon as we can because we know he's going to goblin giant us. Why would he fireball that? Okay. That wasn't supposed to be a fireball. That was supposed to be arrows. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> <laughs> it messed with his mental, my dudes. Okay. Arrows on that as quickly as we possibly can. Go bats afterward. Alright, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Come on, Pokemon, do something! I choose you! Alright, it's kind of working. Let's fireball arrows and then go for a bandit and then keep up the pressure because we probably win with two bandits. Nice! So the way that you play this deck into Goblin Giant is you keep their elixir low because the cost of their cards is so high. Like, they're dropping bowlers. Bowlers are probably going to get eaten alive by evolved bats. So definitely a fun win beating a Goblin Giant player. I didn't necessarily play my best at the first game. I want to see if this guy is ultimate champion or if I just lost against someone that I should not have lost to. Nope, that was a bad loss. That was, that was a really bad loss. <laughs> it does happen. Or maybe it was a new account because sometimes people play on new accounts like right now. This account that I'm on. It is also a new account, so... Or it's not a new account. It's one of my old accounts from the 20 win challenge, but um, I haven't bothered to push it up because it requires level 15 cards to hit Ultimate Champion now, and I don't have level 15 cards on my account. Also, David, thank you for the $14 dono. Hopefully you have a fantastic day, my dude. Lots and lots of love to you. Huge thank you. Okay, so next deck that we're going to be playing. A Hog Rider deck, but instead of running Evolved Archers, you're going to be running the Evolved Knight and Skeletons. Reason why we're running Evolved Knight is because we're going to be able to tank for the Hog Rider for a while with it. It's one of the strongest evolutions in the game. And Evolved Skeletons allow you to cycle faster. And also when you split them up and you have a Knight or Skeletons uh, in both sides with like an Evolved Knight. And then you have Evolved Skeletons where the Knight is tanking for two of the Skeletons. And then the Hog Rider is tanking for the other two. With the Skeletons split up on both sides, it's really hard for opponents to defend. And instead of running Evolved Archers, the Little Prince is already overpowered. So might as well run the overpowered range card and then run a, a, a melee card that gets a bit more benefit. Because if you're running Evolved Archers, you can't really run Little Prince as well. As effectively, at least. Something to keep in mind. So this is the next deck that we're going to be playing. This deck is also played at the very top of the tournament leaderboard at rank 5. The rank 5 player in the world ran this. This is the deck that the rank 5 player in the world ran. And he got 29 wins in this tournament. Imagine an all evolution deck. I don't want to because it'd be too chaotic and hard for me to, uh, I don't know, hard for me to understand what's going on. It's already hard to track one card cycle, noticing when your opponent's at one of the evolutions, but noticing when they're at two evolutions, that's tragically difficult. Also, David, thank you for the same thank you and supporting me with the 14 bucks. I really hope you are doing well. Infinite evolution came up. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Y'all are straight up crazy right now. All right. So we're going to go and click the ability because we want to be able to damage this stuff down. Uh, we are definitely going to go in for a Royal Delivery and a Log and it kills everything. So not that big of a deal, actually. Surprisingly so. You would think that this would have been horrible for us, but it wasn't. We just go for Skeletons. We do take a... Oh, we do take a couple Fisherman shots. That was kind of annoying. I didn't expect the Fisherman to do that. I thought that the Bowler would be the problem, but the Fisherman wasn't getting targeted. So that was the problem. All right, let's go for a Knight here because I think that he's going to have Tornado. As we see Fisherman and Bowler, there's a lot of times that they'll have Tornado. That's why we knighted right in front of the Hog Rider, so we could get extra value. 
The cool thing about this is I could Tesla if I wanted to, but I don't think that that's the right play. I think it's a little bit better for us to go Little Prince and then go click the ability after we decimate the knight. So I'm trying to think of like, how do we win this? Oh, I guess we do this. And then we rail delivery. And then we go skeletons possibly if we need to. Yeah, let's go skeletons here. It does kill the bowler a little bit faster that way. Uh, remember, he's going to have fishermen, so he should probably drop that. Let's go for a hog rider so they can protect the little prince. And then we can click the little prince ability. Protect it further. Okay, not ideal. I did mess that up a little bit. It's okay. Maybe. I hope it pulls that. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to royal delivery here as well. I don't see any other potential of defending that. All right, we're good. So the good thing about this deck is Royal Delivery is such a bailout. Like, if you're in a bad spot, Royal Delivery does save your butt. That is that is a cool concept for me. At least I like it. Maybe maybe I shouldn't like it as much as I do. But that's working really well for us. All right, so we can do that. We can go in for Skeletons on top of the Bowler. Then we can do this. And then we can go for a Knight. We know he's going to click his ability. It'll be fine for me. Could have went in for a hog rider a little bit faster, but it is what it is. That should give us like one shot on the tower, maybe two if he messed it up. Oh, he did mess it up. Cool. Alright, let's go skeletons here. Rail delivery. Oh my gosh, best rail delivery ever. Such a nice rail delivery. Clean that all up is crazy. And then the hog rider goes through because he dropped his fisherman, so now he has to fireball. So, one of the things that this Hog Rider Duck does really, really well is I don't know if you guys saw, but I saw that he didn't have his answer in cycle, so we just spammed him. Like, we dropped a Hog Rider because he dropped his Fisherman, so then he immediately got in a bad spot. Like, you can get the, your opponent in a terrible position when they drop one card that they're not supposed to. Because you can defend minimalistically with your Royal Delivery, so you don't have to spend all of your Elixir on defense. One of the biggest mistakes that Hog Rider Cycle players will do is they'll focus on defense, and then immediately after defense is over, they'll drop their Hog Rider. The better players, the best hog rider players in the world, will defend and simultaneously apply pressure. That's one of the reasons why this deck is like really good. That's how we're vibing. Feels so good to watch you live while you're eating. Oh, dude, eating and watching YouTube is a undefeated combo. Tag, can you show Judo Sloth how to play Clash Royale like a pro? I really liked your Clash of Clans video. You know, that Clash of Clans video is one of my favorite videos that I've created. It's actually one of the recent videos on my YouTube channel and it did not get many views at all. I think it's sitting at like 9,000 views. For a sponsored video, like, usually I get more than that. Like, my other stuff, like Auto Chess, got like 50,000 views. Um, for playing other games that I didn't enjoy as much as Clash, I got way more views. So I don't know what happened. Maybe the algorithm of YouTube just got messed up. But that video was one of the better videos that I've ever created on my channel, especially playing a new game. So if you guys haven't checked that out and you want to see Clash of Clans content, check out the pinned comment. Or check out my latest YouTube video. Um, it was really good. Objectively, I think it was entertaining. And we did a lot of renders, a lot of changes to make it as good as possible. So, yeah. I think that was uh, I, that was the most disappointing moment that I've had in the past, I would say, like, last four or five months was uh, that video performance. Which was crazy, because, like, having a video not do well, is that, like, the, high, or the low point of, like, a month, like, half a year? But, yeah, for me, because it was such a cool video, it made me really sad that it didn't do well. Um, I think it's important to talk to you guys about that stuff too, right? And sit and just say like, yeah, I'm always happy all the time. No, nah, dude, I was super sad yesterday because that didn't do well. And I had expected it to do well because it was such a good video. That's one of the weird things about YouTube. You can put so much effort into something and then it won't do well. And then you put literally no effort into something and then that video will do extremely well. The algorithm, for whatever reason, pushes videos that are sometimes bad and then sometimes pushes video, it doesn't push videos that are extremely good. And you'll never know why. But that is what it is. Um, that was definitely one of the best videos that I have created in a long, long time. The people that liked the or that watched the video liked it a lot. Yeah, I was looking at the comments. It was all positive comments the entire time. Everyone's like, wow, I really enjoy it. Maybe it's also you guys just like not liking Clash of Clans. I'm not sure. That could also be a possibility. I could have titled it incorrectly too. Like maybe people don't really care about Judo Sloth for whatever reason. Maybe people just don't care about like in my content. They don't care about learning Clash of Clans. But like, Judo Sloth is like one of the best creators in the entire world. So, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what the reasoning was for it to not to do well, but maybe we'll be able to figure it out by looking at the analytics later on. There's a lot of different things. Anyway. 
main thing is, I was wrong. It did not do well as well as I expected it to. Um, yeah, we want to cycle Knight so we can get to the evolution. And we're just going to keep spamming. Since we have the Little Prince on the field, like, we're in a pretty good spot. We can do this. We can Tesla afterward. Now with the Evolved Knight, this could be really spicy. I'm not going to click the ability because I want to just keep cycling evolutions, honestly. We want to log this for more damage. We want to split Skeletons in the back so we can get our opponent in a bad card cycle. And then we should be able to go for Evo Knight, Hog Rider, and cycle back to something else on the other side. Like, maybe go for a Little Prince ability. Then the Skeletons don't die. Okay, we got a log from them. That's unfortunate. But... Earthquake plus log does kill the Evo Archers, but maybe the Evo Knight can just kill it anyway. Evo Knight locks tower for two shots, maybe three if we're lucky. His Evo Knight will die here. We're just going to play defensive because whenever someone has an evolution on the field, you got to give them a little bit more respect than you typically would. Just something to keep in mind. Like, always try to guarantee that you are going to be able to uh, kill the evolution before you go on offense. All right, we go Skeletons, we go Knight, we go Hog right on the other side. We could Earthquake or something if we want to. It's not that big of a deal if we do or don't. I think he's going to go Tesla or Fireball. He drops a really delayed Tesla, so we're in a pretty good spot overall. kind of want to go in for our Tesla on the left, just to guarantee that we kill the Expo. And then when we have Evo Knight, then we can go for a Hog Rider again. He just uses Log, so he's in a bad card cycle. He should lose the game. He's going to have to Fireball this, and that's not going to work. He's actually going to drop a Defensive Expo. That's uh, pretty dire, my dude. We now go for our evolved skeletons at the river, and even if he fireballs that back, then he dies to the skeletons, I think. Oh, he didn't even fireball back. GG. On the next one. Some advice for starting a CR YouTube page. I'm thinking about starting my own. Just try to have fun with it, man. Try to enjoy what you do. Aw, oh, dude, I hope you uh, get, through, get through it faster, Big Poppy. Being sick really sucks. I was sick recently. What's the best deck for the tournament? All the decks that I'm showing are top 10 decks in this tournament. So if you want to get better at the game, the best deck out of these decks will be the one that you enjoy playing, the one that you are actually comfortable playing. All of these decks have reached top 10 in the global tournament, in the double evolution tournament. So any of these decks that you guys are seeing are reaching like 29 to 30 wins. So if you want to get high on the leaderboard or if you want to get your new season high for the uh, global tournaments, this would be the best, one of the best decks to play. However, if you're really bad with Hog Rider, I would probably play one of the other decks that I have coming up. I want to give you guys a lot of different options so then everyone has a uh, different thing that they can play. So, also, I'm sure you guys are noticing, but we're playing pretty aggressive with our Hog Riders and relying heavily on our Royal Delivery whenever we get the option to. Does not matter if he activates King Tower. We're just going to go in for our Skeletons here. The nice thing about this deck is we really use the Evo Knight effectively on defense. And the Evo Skeletons are good to apply pressure and also go on offense at the same time. So that's cool. Go for a Tesla a little bit earlier, and then we can go for a Hog Rider afterward if we want to. The Electro Dragon does die to two rail deliveries and then like a couple little Prince shots, which is okay. I mean, we can do that. We can also just go rail delivery on this as well. Yeah, we're definitely going to go rail delivery on this. It's just too much for us to pass up on. He's using a Tornado now, and I think he's dead because he can't Tornado like that. Against like a Hog Rider deck, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. You're down so much Elixir, and you got a terrible trade into the Royal Delivery, so you should be dead. He might go for Barb Barrel. Oh, he's going to go for Evo Barbs. Huh. Interesting. I guess Evo Barbs are decent, but he should be dead now to the Evo Skeletons because he has no Elixir. That should be a 3 crown. Oh, you know the cool thing about running Evo Skeletons is if you get 3 crowns, you get a little bit further up. And it's easier for you to get higher ranks in the global tournament since the tiebreaker factor in these tournaments is how many crowns you have. So if you're tied at 29 wins, whoever has more crowns is going to be higher on the leaderboard. So we can just take advantage of that and take a look at right now. These guys are all tied at 30. The highest ranked person has 56 crowns. The next highest has 46. And the least highest, the one in last place has got 42. So you can see it ascends depending on how many crowns you've collected. Let's go, let's go. Earthquake only deck? Uh, <laughs> we're not going to meme around with that. Earthquake only seems like a bad decision. We're cycling our skeletons and our knight just to get to the evolution a little bit faster. The other good thing about this deck is because you've got a little prince, you can get a three card cycle. He's going to activate King Tower 100% here. If he doesn't, I'd be surprised. Oh, really? He doesn't. That's not good gameplay on his end, then. 
So ideally, we counter the Valkyrie with our little prince, and then also somehow kill the executioner. And then meanwhile, we go deliver here. Yeah, we're fine. All right, we're good. I don't think the knight was necessarily necessary, but I didn't want to take any damage. Also, we can maybe do this. Play a little bit more aggressive with the little prince ability, and then go for a hog rider right other side, so then we can apply pressure on both sides simultaneously. He's going to be down a bit of elixir after that. He didn't play it very well. Down a lot because he ended up dropping the knight, so he didn't have any elixir left over. And we log that for a huge pause elixir trade, and then we probably win the game already. So as you can see with Hog Rider decks, it's a bit different compared to Golem decks or I guess other stuff where you aren't going to have that safety net, yet you still have the ability to take powers very quickly into people that don't play well. If they mess up and they're down Elixir, you drop a Hog Rider. You punish them when they have no Elixir to defend. And then after that, you know, you kind of just chill back with your Evolved Knight, your Royal Delivery, your Log, and you're like, I think I'm fine regardless what you're going to drop on me, my man. That's the cool thing. That's the one thing that I really, really like about this deck is like the safety net. Against the Mega Knight deck, the first game of the day, I would have never lost against that guy if I was playing this deck. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. I did take a fat L. Tesla does end up killing the Little Prince. Beautiful. I don't know how it targeted the Little Prince instead of the Evolved Knight there, but I'll take it. And then also we have the Guardian tanking for our Hog Rider and the Little Prince coming up clutch for some more firepower afterward. Let's log so maybe we can keep the Little Prince alive. I don't think so, but it would have been nice. And we can Royal Delivery. I didn't drop it fast enough. That should be able to get damage on our tower. Oh, it doesn't! Because the Skeleton soaked up the damage. Nice. All right, so we can go for a Knight and then a Hog Rider again to try to take another tower. Usually, I wouldn't do this, but in a global tournament, it's nice to be able to take as many towers as possible, as I said before. I want to take two towers here, bare minimum. I don't think I can three crown, but it'd be nice to take two towers. We're going to Royal Delivery on the right-hand side against the Evolve Firecracker, and then we should be okay here with Skeletons, and then going in for a Knight to go and pull back the P.E.K.K.A. We're going to Log, and then I think we can Delivery again on top of whatever else he drops, and we're fine. It's a really easy defense. Unfortunately, we're not going to take another Crown, unless he takes a Tower, which he's not going to be able to. Unless... Oh, let's go! Wow! I can't believe they multiplied that fast and took out the tower. That's insane. That was an easy defense and pretty good stuff. Let's go, let's go. Is Tesla better than Inferno Tower and Bomb Tower for reaching Arena 20? I think Tesla is just a bit safer. I like it as a card. Doesn't get reflected back by Monk. It's pretty OP. Can you use a Goblin Giant deck? I will use Goblin Giant deck soon. I'm just showing you guys one of the better ones. I'm showing you guys one of the easier decks to play that can beat a lot of noobs. One of the decks that's safer. I would really recommend playing this if you guys are a better player than most of your opponents because you will not lose if you're better than them. You're just going to spam a whole bunch of evolutions faster than them and you'll win the game. Um, obviously, we're going to show some lower skill decks soon. So if you guys are ready for the low skill strategies, we got those as well. I am not going to be showing pure skill decks the entire time. I guess the Mega Knight deck was pretty easy to play too, but yeah. This deck isn't that difficult either. It's just, it's more thought process than the other decks, I guess. It's more thought process than spamming Goblin Giants and praying that you win, which a lot of people want to do. I understand. If you guys are used to playing Goblin Giants in regular games, wouldn't you want to play Goblin Giant in the, uh, <laughs> in the global tournament as well? Probably, right? I would like to go in for Skeletons here and then kill the Knight with the Evolved Skeletons and then do dual lane pressure, but we'll see if that works out. I think I have to go for a Hog Rider here so then the Skeletons don't die. And let's go Little Prince other side. No, that didn't work at all. Yeah, it didn't work at all. That was kind of bad. Well, I tried something, guys. It didn't work, but it is what it is. So because we're down a little bit, I actually have to eat the Archer. Because if I log that, then I won't have Elixir for the Tesla. So just something to keep in mind. Don't play super stupid when you're up damage. It's important to realize, hey... I can't defend everything, because if I try to defend everything, I can't defend anything. And I don't have Elixir to defend anything. Just something to keep in mind. Oops, I did misclick that. Uh, usually you want to go Royal Delivery and then Log to counter the Royal Hogs. Tesla does work, but it's not great. Also, the Tesla should have been placed a little bit higher. It's fine. That was a big misplay on my end, but you live and you learn. Since we do have the Evo Knight, I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to Log here as well. Hopefully we can hit the Recruits. 
and then going for a tombstone counter with an earthquake and then have the hog rider just go towards the tower and we're in a good spot now Ooh, this is not good i actually have to delivery here which feels awful all right we'll see if we can defend this i don't think i can i think i might have messed up and lost Okay. Ooh, I did not play that well, guys. Damn. Alright, we're gonna try to play our best at this point because I should not be losing this game. My bad. <laughs> at least I can get my focus up. No princess at the river, that's good. Alright, we're gonna go in for a hog rider as soon as we possibly can. Earthquake on whatever he drops. This log will be beneficial, hopefully. Not enough for us to kill. Could have earthquake possibly and then won, but. Just do this. Play as safe as possible. Log on this. I think I lost, unless he doesn't have fireball. Do you have Fireball or Lightning or something? I'm kind of just waiting for him to spell me. Alright, we can log this and win with one Hog Rider hit. Whew, that was really close. Um, not necessarily the type of game that we like, but we'll take it. I don't think I've ever played against someone with uh, Evil Archer's recruits. Alright, we'll go next game. That was my bad. <laughs> so even if you play poorly, you can still clutch up and win again. Um, it's just, that was kind of a funny game. It's nice to have that luxury of using delivery on defense and still staying safe. Holy. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much, official dessert. I appreciate you. Just a reminder, you're the best CR content creator. Your videos make me play CR again and again. Merry Christmas, man. Thank you for the huge dono. I hope you're having a good day, man. Lots and lots of love to you. Are you at your new apartment? Yeah, I am. I'm at my new apartment right now. I moved to it a couple days ago, actually. Uh, earlier this week, or last week, I guess. We are going to be going and uh, having some Christmas festives soon with one of my friends. He's coming near me at like 3 p.m. And uh, we're going to meet up in Seattle and we're going to have a great time. We're going to go to the Seattle market and have a good time together. So I'm excited to see him. I haven't seen him in like a couple months. What's the best deck in the meta? All the decks that I'm showcasing right now are top tier decks. These decks are phenomenal in this tournament really overpowered so if you want a good deck for the tournament highly encourage you to play one of the decks that i'm showing today wouldn't recommend much else because these are the decks that have been battle tested at the top they already work really well at the highest ranks you don't have to think about like oh is this deck gonna work no this deck does work it already reached the highest ranks you just have to learn how to play it which is also another confounding factor but i would never want to be like does this deck work can I learn it? Is it good? Asking more questions is always worse. Because then you have a lot more to figure out. Okay, watch this. We have two evolutions. This is going to be hilarious. What does he do? <laughs> oh, he's going to drop his own evolutions. That makes sense. But, can we kill the evolved archers? I think so. Oh, no, 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 no. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the? Come on. Oh, it's on the, it's on the other tower? I don't even know what happened. How do we break through evolved archers and Tesla? How did that happen? It's still going. It's still going. It's it's still going. It's still going. We three crown. Nice. I think you used the Evolved Knight with the skeletons like that. That play that I just did, we broke the game. Also, that was the loudest, most satisfying clap I've ever done in my life. Hopefully that didn't hurt your ears. But that was that was satisfying. We're gonna take a look at that again. That was that was hilarious. You guys saw that, right? The strategy is this. You have the double evolutions. You go split skeletons. The split skeleton sauce. Then you go evolve knight and hog rider. And look at that. Look at that. It was beautiful. He actually had evolved archers and Tesla and still got three crown. This was his setup. Evolved Archers and Tesla, and it still wasn't enough with a log, right? 
Evolved Archer Skeletons Tesla. <laughs> and Log for our opponent. He didn't have enough. Oh, he didn't drop his Skeletons. He dropped Ice Spirit. Okay. But he dropped Evolved Archers, Tesla, and Log and still got three crowned by Evolved Skeletons and Evolved Knight. And then, the icing on the cake was that Guardian coming through and killing the Archers too. That was way too funny. I'm studying biology and I'm watching you. You're learning about the ecosystems in the Clash Royale arenas too, man. The most lively adventures. The most lively organisms in the world. The Evolved Skeletons. Even though they died, they cripple opponents too, man. They take the opponents down. That's pretty funny. Do you think Expo can thrive in the current meta? No. Do you see how many earthquakes uh, I'm cycling like a madman? It's probably not good for them. All right, we're going to cycle two evolutions here. Not bad for us at all. We've got skeletons and knight. So looking really, really good. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video right now, if you guys are enjoying the live stream, drop a like on the video. It goes a long way. It supports me for free. And if you want to see more spicy content, like what you just saw with that evolved skeleton three crown, uh, I'll be able to deliver more of that to you guys if you, uh, if you like the content. So thanks again to everyone that's supporting and lots of love. All right, so we're going to let the little prince die so we can activate King Tower. Actually, I lied. Wait, did I miss? I did not miss. We don't miss. We don't miss. All right, I should have done that the opposite way around. The skeleton's still full counter, but... Wait, the firecracker... I... Oh my gosh. I should have logged on this and then skeletons to activate King Tower against the firecracker. That was a big misplay on my end. It's okay. Sometimes we don't make the best play. It happens. I think I should have went for... Uh, okay, never mind. That was good. Now we have the Evo Knight on defense. It's fine. All is good. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Put the ability. Delivery here as soon as we possibly can. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Nice. If you pop it with the delivery, the skeletons actually uh, get distracted by the, the delivery. Let's see how this goes. I think this could be funny. Harder for him to defend than he wants to. Because the, the Mighty Miner has to reset, so that's a lot of damage. I played that perfect. Not perfect perfect, but pretty good. Oops, terrible Tesla. <laughs> I hope I don't have to spend extra. I don't have to. I think I'm fine. Let's just go Mighty Miner for good conscience. We could log on this. Yeah, it's just log for a faster... Oh. Log Earth quickly than this. What is he doing? He's in team. Okay, we're good. Let's hog rider because we're up so much. And then we log on this afterward. Log Earthquake. Perfect. We're in a phenomenal position moving forward. Like, I think I do win this game. I think I can just outcycle him like a crazy person because he's probably going to go recruits in the back and then he loses to a hog rider plus knight. Oh, he didn't drop it in the back like I hoped he did. I don't know. Uh. Alright, I lost. He's got Fireball. I should have stopped that from locking onto my tower. My bad. That's a huge L. My bad, guys. Sometimes that happens. Um, it's obviously obnoxious playing against decks like that, but I should have just focused a little bit more on the right-hand side. I didn't stop the Firecracker from hitting me. If I did, I would have won the game. Big misstep on my end. We'll play one more game with this deck, and then we'll switch it to another one. Goated, goaded, goaded. I know. That guy was goaded. He was OP. How does it feel about the Ice Spirit Evo having a Frostbite effect where it damages its opponents? I think that the Evo Ice Spirit really needs a buff. Evo Skeletons for one less card cycle. You can only have to spend two uh, card cycles to get to the Evo Skeletons. They're insanely good. But <laughs> if we look at the Evo from our uh, opponents, if they're running Evo Ice Spirit, the Evo Ice Spirit will take three card cycles to get to. So it takes essentially the entire game to get to. It's not a very strong or reliable card. Really appreciate your work. Love from India. Dude, lots of love from the USA. I'm currently stationed in Seattle. Hopefully, you're enjoying the content as much as I am creating it. That sounded almost a little bit robotic to me. I don't know why I said it in such a robotic voice, but I don't know. Sometimes it happens, I guess. 
All right, so not good for us at all. This could be a loss. Who knows? All I know is this is going to be tough. Okay, we're able to defend, maybe? Delivery, please. I didn't need the delivery there. I just didn't want to lose. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can echo my sentiments sometimes. Miserable, 1993. Well, Mr. Miserable, sir, I think we've got more misery for you. Are we go for a hog rider here? He'll probably have evolved barbs in his deck, if I had to guess. We did not activate King Tower, so this is pretty bad. The one bad thing about Electro Dragon is it doesn't die to two Royal Deliveries because we don't have an Ice Spirit. We need, like, Little Prince on it. All right, we're going to go Evo Knight just to tank because I don't want to eat any damage for no reason. All right, we'll let that die because we can't have any... Uh, we can't have it survive. There's no way. Unless... Uh, the Log would have been nice, maybe. All right, we should probably start to hog rider in the other side just to force out extra elixir. Not really going to get anything from this, but it'd be nice to get something. Oh, man, another no skill strat. <laughs> All right, we should be fine here with the delivery. As long as they don't stop moving, so that's good. We're going to wait a little bit, then we go in for our Tesla so it can kill the Electro Dragon. Please just target the Electro Dragon. Please just target the Electro Dragon. Okay, thank goodness. It worked. Didn't know if that was going to work. I was looking at it, but I'm like, ah, is that going to kill the car we needed to? Let's go Hog Rider when he's down a bit. That is doing so much damage to my tower. Mad annoying. But fortunately for us, we can Earthquake Cycle at this point, so it's over. It's Ogre. It's Ogre, guys. We'll walk away the way. Can't stop me. All right, good game. I hate e -golems. Yeah, I mean, if you hate e -golem, this deck does beat it. As you guys can see, having rail delivery is really nice. Audio is good now. I'm sorry about the audio. Sometimes that will happen. Um, when I'm playing the game, I'm not going to be able to check and turn off the audio. I just turned off the audio. Can you guys let me know if the audio is fine at this point or not? If it is okay, we'll just keep going. Um, was the, is the audio fixed? Y'all let me know. All right, already. Are you better than OJ? As a content creator, that's always subjective, right? You like someone's content more than others. That's something that you make your own decision on. Um, from a rank standpoint or gameplay perspective, you can usually check at people's ranks and find out if they're a better player. You can see if I'm better than any other content creator or worse than other, any content creator by looking at their ranks at the end of the season. So for instance, you can go and check out my rank last season and then compare it to anyone else's. And you could be like, oh, is he better at gameplay than another person? And the answer will be yes or no based off of ranks. If, I don't know, that's something you can always take a look at. You can usually Google things too and figure that out. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like answering questions, are you better than someone else? Because it's just like, it's not really a, uh, I don't know. That's kind of like a weird question. That and then like how much money you make, those are the type of questions that I don't like answering as much. They are more personal and or like, they inspire conversations that aren't necessarily as good. I like different types of questions. But yeah, there's a lot of amazing content creators in the game. And OJ is one of the nicest people that I know. I freaking love him. We turned off the game audio because I, a lot of people were saying that there was audio issues. So I decided to do that. Let's go Royal Delivery here. We can go Evo Knight if we want. Kind of rather drop our Skeletons first and then drop our Knight. Then maybe we can activate King Tower with this Firecracker. Did I play it well enough? Did I delay it just long enough for the King? No, I didn't. Dang it. I thought I did. I thought it was spicy like that. Wait, we've got two pushes here. We've got the Evo Knight, and then we got the Hog Rider push. Oh, he wasn't ready! Oh my gosh, I think he's gonna lose. Wait, why does he have two buildings? <laughs> I don't understand. Sir, you have confused me and perplexed me and confounded me to a point that I did not think was possible. All right, let's just run it. Let's run it. Let's see if this works. There's a chance. There's a small chance. Oh, he missed a skeleton. He missed the skeleton. Oh, imagine if that three crowned him into his Evo Firecracker. How funny would that be? That would have made my day. 
That would have been deserved, you know. For running two buildings, so deserved. The log was unnecessary completely, but that's what it is. My man is crazy. He really hates his hog riders, but loves his hog riders at the same time. As you guys can see, he plays hog rider and hates playing against it, so he's got 16 different answers. The man with the bowler double building deck. <laughs> I'm sure you guys play against people like this on ladder, and you're like, how did he come up with this monstrosity, and why do I have to face it? That is the regular question that we see. I kind of want to three crown him, so let's just try to. I really want to three crown him. No! Please let me three crown. Take my tower. No! I wanted to three crown you! <laughs> you would have gotten three crowned 100%, man. We had the hog rider on the king, and then we also ended up having the earthquake cycle en route. Or in route. Yo, Maki Walker says, I just got back into CR recently and found your channel. I love the content, man. Keep up the work. Keep up the good work. Wow, I just read work. Not good. Uh, thank you, man. <laughs> Lots of love. Also, no skill decks right after this, I promise. Last game. I, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of addicted to this deck. Out of all the decks that I played so far, I kind of like this one the most since it is the safest. And every game that I lost, well, I guess the one game that I lost with the deck was 100% deserved loss on my end. So I like losing because I don't play well. I don't like losing based off of like matchup or other stuff. It's really cool losing because I suck at the game and I could play better. That's one thing that I've recognized. Also, look at that amazing Tesla placement. We're, we're going crazy out here. We're making it happen. That knight was perfect as well. We should shut down the Sparky without even a single shot. That defensive structure, that was good. We like that. We vibe with that. All right, let's go skeletons. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I might have overcommitted slightly. How many piggies do I give him for free? Unless the mother witch might die. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Okay. Let's just Tesla here and not lose the game. <laughs> I think Tesla does completely clean everything up. It does not give him another pig, so we're okay with that. I'm not going to spend any extra elixir on the Mother Witch because I need to conserve my elixir for the annoying Goblin Giant. I need to get, like, knights down and other stuff. The people need to know. Do you like Sherbert? Very important question here, says Michael. Yo, Michael, I freaking love you. I hope you're doing well, buddy. I really, really appreciate you stopping by the stream and donating five. Guys, get some hearts in the chat for Michael. He's one of my favorite people and actually one of the best friends that I made playing Clash Royale. Imagine making friends playing a video game. Couldn't be me until it was, you know? Did not expect that to happen, so huge thanks to Michael for stopping by the stream today. Love you, dude. Let's just go in for skeletons here. I probably should have dropped them on the Sparky, but it is what it is. He raged it. We're fine? Yeah, we're okay. I could log to deny all the damage, but I don't really want to. I want to go for a Hog Rider when I'm at, like, 4 Elixir. This is a bit aggressive, but I feel like it's worth it because he raged. Oh, he's got bats. Interesting. Are some of the evos not showing up as evos? Is it coded weirdly? Because bats are typically an evo. You guys let me know. Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to log delivery. Alright, sorry. We can just do this. Yeah. Little prince, log, delivery, all that stuff. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Oh my gosh, he isn't ready for the juice! We're on the loose right now. We've got the juice. And we're hog riding because he's dead. Imagine fully countering a goblin giant push with an extra elixir in the bank to be able to go for a hog rider simultaneously. Isn't that crazy? And then I have elixir to possibly three crown. We're going for the three. I don't think I'll get it, but I really want it. Man, if I just had a little bit more juice left in the tank, I would have three crown. Our push just took forever to get there. Man, that would have been so nice. Oh, close. We're not even trying to win the game. We're trying to three crown our opponents. <laughs> Will there ever be Evo heroes? I hope not. I really hope not. Also, Maki, thank you for becoming a member. Love you lots. All right, so we're at 11 wins with this deck. This would probably be the deck that I play later on because it's just so strong. The only game I lost was the game that I deserved to lose. So just something to keep in mind. Phenomenal deck for this tournament. Phenomenal. Now we're going to show no skill strategies. Evo recruits with Evo archers, goblin giant, you guys know. This deck also might get countered by the Evo knight because you can earthquake on the elixir collector. So I think the hogger earthquake deck is just safer. Possibly. Anyway, we'll run the no skill deck because you guys want to see no skill. We'll do it for you guys. This is not on my own volition. It's because of you. Also, I do like Sherbert. 
I really like fruity sherbet. I like like mango sherbet. I like, yeah, I really like mango ice cream in general. I think it's pretty unique, but it's very tasty. So splitting up archers here is not a bad idea just to get a look at what our opponent's going to do. And we're going to split the majority of our recruits in the left-hand side. I think the goblin giant just straight up dies if we go for a fisherman. All right, let's do this and pull the bowler and then go for our little prince afterward. Oh, that was not what was supposed to get pulled. That was not it, Chief. <laughs> that was not it. As soon as we move to low skill, we lose all of our skill. Imagine. Oh my gosh, we killed his little prince? How is that... Yo, how is that fisherman popping off that hard? Fisherman actually killed everything. The bowler, the goblin giant, the little prince. It did it all. <laughs> okay. Royal Recruits Evo, because it only costs one Psycho, is pretty broken. Not gonna lie, he does not want to spam into me right now. He does not want to spam into me. <laughs> but he's doing it! <laughs> is he gonna bowler at the river? That would be so bad. I think he might. It would be funny. Oh, he used his Fisherman. Now he's dead. Sayonara, sir! See you later. See you in the Shadow Realm. Oh, that was a pretty bad uh, plan my end, I think. Possibly. All right. All right. Okay. Not necessarily my best gameplay, but it is what it is. It be how it be. And we're going to go for arrows here guaranteed because those are raged up bats that aren't even evolved. I don't know why you would rage up bats that aren't evolved, but maybe he got this perception that all bats are strong, but bats are not treated the same, sir. The evolved ones are broken. The other ones are kind of just paper. All right, we'll go recruits here, I think. It's a bit safer to do that than do anything else. And then we can go for another elixir collector. Keep him on the back foot. If he goes bowler and then goblin giant, that would be really smart. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, he's spending elixir a bit more frivolously. This is decent for us. All right, we'll go for this. Evolve the archers and then recruits probably. Might as well test it out and see how it goes. We don't always need evolutions out here. Oh, let's just rage it. It's Those bats should die. And then... The recruits on the right are putting in a lot of work, but the archers need to kill the bowler, which isn't happening. A little bit obnoxious. Did I actually lose here? I do lose. That's crazy. Huh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not yet. All right, we have to spam everything we have and hope. Spam and pray, and maybe there's a way. No, he's got Evo Knight. I'm dead. Unless... Unless there's some small chance. He's going to try to get back to Lightning. No! That's an unfortunate loss. I should never lose to someone that randomly rages bats. So as you can see, this deck isn't as reliable as the other deck. Sometimes you'll play into someone that has Bowler, and it's kind of annoying. Um, the Bowler really did screw us a bit, because I can't cycle things into that as much. Didn't have a great defense, because hypothetically, if your opponent stops your Fisherman from pulling a Goblin Giant, and then they've got a Bowler with it, it is kind of a counter. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. If I had Royal Delivery, and I had Evolved Knight, there's no shot in hell that that guy breaks through. And then we win the game. Just something to keep in mind. All right, we'll go in for recruits in the back first play and just see how this goes. Always want to arrows on top of the firecracker if we can. But yeah, this deck is way easier to play. You just kind of have to hope that you don't match into someone that has bowler, I think. Or not just bowler, but like bowler goblin giant, I would say. Bowler goblin giant is not ideal, unless you can pull the bowler. But yeah. I think that this deck might be really popular, so people might be building decks to beat it. Bull is always played in this challenge. This deck also did hit the top of the leaderboard. I mean, it still ended up hitting like 28, 29 wins. So it's still pretty good. It's just you kind of don't want to play into those decks. At least in my opinion. In my opinion. I can hear you just fine. Okay, I'm glad. Um, Love from Portugal. Hey, thanks for stopping by, man. Are you serious right now? Uh, am I serious about playing a no-skill deck? Yeah, I'm playing a no-skill deck for sure. You guys asked me to, so I'm going to deliver. The strategy with this is you go recruits in the back when you've got the evolution. You wait for your opponent to make an overcommitment in one side, and then you goblin giant the other side. That's pretty strong. 
Goblin recruits in the back first play is one of the best decks or best strategies with this deck. All right, really good arrows value. We'll be able to hit the bomb tower and also pretty much everything there. I would personally prefer to play into a bomb tower Valkyrie deck with Firecracker compared to playing against what we played against last game. Because as you guys can see, it's really hard to defend against all the recruits. How can I add you? Make a post in the community tab if you're a member, which you are a member, and then I'll add you after that. So make a post in the community tab. There's a community tab post where you should say, hey, Sir Tag, I haven't got to add you as a member yet. And then I look at that and then I add you afterward. You want to come to Germany? Dude, I would love to go to Germany. I haven't been to Germany yet in my life. Actually, that's a lie. I've been to Germany airports. Like when I went to Helsinki, Finland, I actually went to Frankfurt. That was the airport that I went to. But I haven't stayed in Germany, so it'll be kind of cool. Oh, if you didn't know, Little Prince Ability does full counter Goblin Barrel. I don't know if he's going to drop it, but it'll be cool if he did. Arrows plus Rage does kill this completely, so let's just do that. I don't want to have to deal with it, so I might as well. Also, he doesn't have the right card cycle anymore, so let's just go for our archers. And let's go recruit to the river. Since we have evolved archers and also evolved recruits, like this is going to be hard for him to defend for sure. He might have lost, hopefully. I guess we'll have to wait and see, right? Oh, that would have been nice if I played that slightly better, but it's okay. Oh, the Goblin Giant didn't reach the tower. Oh, no. Or nor. Can we please kill the fisherman? Thanks. Or the, uh... <laughs> the firecracker? Goblin Giant's on the brink of rage. Doesn't rage, though. Feels bad. Evo skeletons are pain. I think we're okay though. I think we're probably okay. Unless that reaches, and it does, but it dies, so that's kind of cool. Uh or does it die? Alright, bomb tower needs to die, so then we can go in for recruits. Man, it seems like everyone's kind of countering this deck right now. I'm not super surprised to see that, but not ideal, obviously. Maybe we can still win. Like, if we just break through the bomb tower and then we go Goblin Giant, we should probably win the game. So that was the strategy. Use the Evo Archers when your opponent's down, and then you, then you kind of just power through. That's it. We win. GG. That was a really scuffed situation where we were able to beat someone... That ended up having Poison, Valkyrie, Bomb Tower, Rayo Delivery. Or not Rayo Delivery. Um, Firecracker Evo. That was a tough one. Like that matchup, I'm pretty sure the guy built a deck to beat Recruit's Goblin Giant. Like he was sick of losing to it. And he's like, never again will I lose to that. <laughs> My man literally put in a Bomb Tower Valkyrie with a Firecracker and Electro Spirit Skeletons for a fast cycle. So he could just spam Valkyrie's Bomb Towers and Poisons against Recruit's. And he still lost. So using the evolved archers in the middle to snipe the building is what won us the game. So that's something to keep in mind. Use the evolved archers in the middle to snipe the bomb towers. It's not that difficult to do. It's not that difficult to do, but it is something that will give you a lot of value. Oh, this guy's running the bowler deck. All right, let's just rage it up because it does kill the bats. Ooh, never mind. Is this balloon? This might be a balloon deck from our opponent. I bet you it's Balloon. Because we see Ice Golem with Delivery. I just don't think there would be many other decks. Yeah, it's got to be a Balloon deck. This could be bad for us. I need arrows on these bats. The only way I kill them. Actually, wait, let's Little Prince it. This might be a bit more risky, but we do get Counter Push with the Little Prince, so I'd rather do that. I still have Archers in Cycle for his aggressive play with Balloon. We're fine. I'm trying to maximize my value. Like... If you drop arrows, the arrows don't counter push, but the Little Prince does. The Little Prince forces out extra elixir. It kills the Ice Golem, it kills the Archer, and then it gives me ability to go in for the ability, but I'm not going to do it because it's in a delivery. I'm not going to be stupid. <laughs> you feel me? All right, we're going to go for Elixir Collector here since we can catch a Miner, depending on where he drops it, we're fine. Should drop it here or here. We do catch it with the Fisherman. Fisherman gets the catch of the day, baby. Hell yeah. That was awesome. He gives us a well played. I don't know if I deserve that, but I appreciate it. 
We're gonna go Goblin Giant at the river to force out the Bomb Tower, and then we can Rage as well. We want the Bomb Tower out of cycle, so we can go for Recruits. This is beautiful, because we can Rage and kill those. Nice. So now, he's not gonna have a good card cycle at all. We could recruit in the back because the bomb tower is out of cycle. Or we can go for evolved archers and then keep our recruits. I think keeping our recruits is ideal. I'm just going archers right now since we get the evolution with the next card cycle. He can't spam balloon. Can we catch a miner though? <laughs> I don't know. Catch it again, catch it again, catch it again. Oh, dude, I'm not Ash catch him. I'm not Ash catch him. I'm a failure. Feels bad, man. I thought I could. I believed. If we can kill the evil archers, this would be fun. Let's go recruits up in here. Go evil archers to snipe the bomb tower. Oh my gosh, it worked again! It's too easy. It's too easy, I'm telling you guys. It's light work. Just snipe those bomb towers for days and watch your opponents just destroy get destroyed in seconds. Dude, that's brutal. Imagine a universe where your opponent has to use bomb tower against recruits. Or Goblin Giant? <laughs> oh no. Or Nor. Or Nor. <laughs> little bit unfair, guys. A little bit unfair. A little bit toxic. Not gonna lie. We figured out how to play this deck. It's not that difficult. Oh my gosh. Well, that worked really well. I watched your Ice Spirit Evolution draft video and then 12 would the challenge. Congrats, man. I'm proud of you, brother. <laughs> Oh, uh, this deck is really, really good. You think Little Prince is finally balanced at the moment? No, it's really overpowered. Really overpowered. Light work, no reaction? Yeah, that was a pretty easy game. But also at the same time, I'm running the no skill deck. You guys, you guys told me to run the lowest skill deck that I could come up with, and this is the lowest skill deck in the top 10 in the world. So that's what I decided to do. This is a product of your guys' suggestions, not me. Man, I hate having to do this. I don't even think we're going to be able to stop the bandit. It's still dashed, yeah. We can go and pull that into our little prince. And then we can rage on defense. Rage takes a short second to drop, by the way. You can't immediately depend on the rage to kill Evo Skeletons, or uh, the timing is a little bit different, I guess. Oh, the hook did not happen. All right, let's just activate King Tower because I think it's worth it. Even though we are dropping a 6 elixir investment with the Goblin Giant, I think it's worth the activate King Tower. Unfortunately, we don't have an Evo Goblin Giant yet in the game, guys. Imagine if Clash Royale adds that. How fun would that be? That'd be so cool. <laughs> I could see them doing it, too. It might be ridiculously stupid, but don't, don't underestimate their craziness. What was that Skeleton King ability, dude? Also, the Rage barely hitting the Archer is so good. Look at that! For two Elixir, that amount of damage is beautiful. You need to own the Ev Evos to w play in the tournament? No, you don't. That's one of the good things about it. You don't have to n have to earn the own the Evo uh, of the evolutions. You can experiment with a lot of evolutions. Cool. I really, really like that. Since we have Evo Archers in Cycle, we can go for an Elixir Collector and be okay. He can't spam into this. I mean, he can. It'd just be a terrible play. You can't kill these with arrows, so... It'd be hard for you to break through. Bandit was also bad because that's a 3-for-3 three three trade and we have the Fisherman still alive. And then we get quicker to our evolution. Alright, we're fine. He's going to go for a Skeleton Barrel or something and lose. He also loses his Firecracker really quick here. Uh, let's just arrows on this. Oh no, that's tragic. I don't think it matters, but that could have mattered. He probably loses the Evo Archer anyway. Yeah, we're good. He's gonna Mega Knight in the left hand side, and then it's gonna die, so we're fine. Uh, let's rage, let's go for recruits and stop everything, and we win. Nice! Easy wins. Alright, let's try to get more crowns. Let's try to get more crowns. Let's just do it. Just do it, as Nike would say. All right, we're not going to get more crowns, unfortunately. But we're not going to throw the game, so that's another benefit. Or maybe... Maybe we let him take the tower. Let him take the tower. Let him take the tower. Three crown, three crown, three crown. Ah, uh, I would have actually three crowned. That would have been fun. It is what it is. Looking scrumptious today, says Zuzan. Hey. Thank you, man. <laughs> I also did not say your name correctly.
Let's keep going. This deck is so good. I got to head to work. I would listen in the car, but I have no idea what's going on. We're playing in the double evolution tournament right now. So we're vibing. We're having a good time. We're crushing it. We're spamming the easiest deck in the game because you guys wanted me to do it. So it is what it is. Would you buff Witch? I would buff Pekka. Pekka is the worst card right now, in my opinion, that deserves a buff. I think that Witch is really annoying to play against when you have the right card cycle with Witch. And you're playing against like a, I don't know, a giant graveyard deck. Like, I'm not a huge fan of playing against Witch. I don't want Witch to get a buff. I think that Pekka, it just gets shredded like paper. I've said this so many times, it just deserves a buff. Which, I don't know if I would buff it. I think it's fine as is. It's, it's got good value in some situations and in some decks. Never Elixir Collector when you're down Elixir or when you make an aggressive play when a card's coming at you. Because that's how you can lose the game. If you randomly Elixir Collector with a unit coming at you, usually if your opponent's up Elixir, they'll spam with it and then you're automatically dead. Instead of doing that, we're just going to go and cycle our Evo Archers as quick as we can and see if we can cook a little bit. We saw Mortar, so I think it might be a Recruits deck as well. We don't know. Mortar plus Recruits. Mortar plus Archers. Mortar plus Bats. There's a lot of different decks you could be playing. Usually don't like going Little Princes on Miners, but, you know, that's what we're doing today. We got a huge positive elixir trade too. Three for three, and then he arrowed on top of the elixir collector for not a good trade either. Arrows don't do that well against elixir collector. Barely tickles them. A bomber needs Evo? Maybe. We'll see. Be kind of cool. All right, so. I think I'm going to go Goblin Giant on the right hand side. He's going to be less expecting it. Less likely to expect it. Oh my gosh, if we break through the mortar evolution and make him waste that and he get, doesn't get to use it on offense, he's dead. He's actually just dead. He's, de he's dead already. This deck is so unfair. I mean, if you don't have splash damage, you are definitely screwed against this deck. You need a lot of splash damage to kill it. Let's go and pull that to the other side. And then when he goes minion horde, we go archers and we go goblin giant afterwards. And then everything dies, even if he arrows is on this. Because we've got goblin giant. We've got Shrek tanky. We don't even have to worry. We don't even have to fib. Shrek is going to keep us uh, in a pretty comfortable position. Let's arrows on the goblins. It's elixir collector again. Might as well. Might <laughs> might as well be a meme. Probably not the best play in the world, but I'm a memer, so I don't really care. And then we go goblin giant, and then we arrows on whatever he does on defense, and he loses the game. He's gonna go in for like goblins on defense, and we'll arrows them. The archer doing so much damage to the mortar means that he doesn't have anything besides goblins, so it was an easy free arrows. Making those type of predictions is like not that impressive, but it does win you the game. Arrows. This is arrows here. It's guaranteed to win, all right? Let's not be super stupid because we get arrows and rage, but then it's just like, why would I do that? Let's get the rage down first and then arrows so we don't throw the game. If that makes sense. <laughs> Which it should. Like, don't be super stupid and throw a game that you've had one. I've done it before. I personally think Evarbs deserve an evolution because they are too slow and don't do enough damage. You know, Evarbs actually used to be a pretty good card. And then they used to be okay I, using Bridge Bam, right? Using Bridge Bam, you use Evo Barbs, or sorry, E Barbs with um, Rage and like Archer Queen. And then Archer Queen got power crept by the Little Prince because the Little Prince costs less Elixir and is better. Then E Barbs got power crept by uh, Evolution Barbarians. Why would you ever run Elite Barbarians when you could run Evolved Barbarians for one card cycle that have a built in Rage? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, E-barbs are obsolete for sure. Yeah, you're 100% right. But I also don't want to see E-barbs get an evolution because I think it would be really bad for the game. <laughs> Imagine what they did with regular barbarians. The Evo, bar the Evo barbs are going to be like looking at the elite barbarians and be like, wow, you're us on steroids. It's going to be so bad. We have to click the ability here so we can tank for his little prince. Otherwise, we'd have to go goblin giant and I don't want to do that. Okay, he's got Elixir Collector deck, so he's running a low skill deck just like us. One of us, one of us. He might be running the same deck. This deck requires no brain power. Gonna arrows on this to get damage on the Elixir Collector and maybe force him to make the first play. 
Go archers here on the left hand side. Usually pretty stupid to do this because right next to our laser collector that has already taken damage. Oh, um, interesting. Try to isolate everything and then let's go for a little prince here and then let's go goblin giant. This is a bit aggressive, but I want to do it. If we can just go and kill the electro dragon, then we're fine. Oh, we're not in a good spot anymore. I don't know if I can afford the recruits on defense. Okay, I can. But this is also very sketchy. I have to rage, I think, too. Maybe I don't. I hope I don't. I think I do. I don't want them to die. All right. Not good. I think the rage was kind of scuffed. We're definitely playing against a golem deck. 100% golem. This is another deck that I was going to show you guys earlier. But right now, it's looking a little bit scuffed and problematic for me. All right, let's go archers because it does pull the Evo Knight. It will kill the Evo Knight, I think. With two towers and archers killing it, it should be enough. All right, we got to go recruits in the back. This is going to be hard because we can't kill Electro Dragons. I think I lose. I need to apply a lot of opposite lane pressure. It's not like I can go into Barbarians either. Let's just pull the Golem as quickly as we can so we can deal with it faster. All right, let's go Evil Archers. And then try to get to recruits as quick as we can. Oh, this is not looking good. This is really not feeling good either. Look at the damage we're taking. Damn. Crazy. So much damage, dude. I'm not breaking through that. There's no shot. Please just kill the Electro Dragon. But she isn't going to die. Alright, let's go here. Drop this. Still in a very scuffed spot. That golem's going to explode on my tower and I'm so dead. This matchup was not good. Oh, that even locked tower. GG. That's a tough matchup. That's probably like 100 0 in his favor, I would say, unless we get damage in single elixir, because we can't really kill the Electro Dragon. We don't have Fireball or anything. So. <laughs> I think that's a good segue to the next deck that we were going to show today. <laughs> this deck is also at the top of the leaderboard as well. So, kind of a fun thing. We might go to our main account and play a couple games there as well. I haven't really decided if I want to do that or not. But, yeah, you can't kill Electro Dragons with this deck since you don't have a big spell. So you really have to rely on the Evil Archers to be able to pick that apart. And it's not going to work in the later stages of the game. If they set up a good Golem, you're going to lose. That guy was probably okay at the game too. Yeah, he was okay. I still shouldn't have lost. That's just a huge hard counter. Um. Anyway, the, uh, the main reason why this deck is so strong is you get Elixir Collectors, you have Evo Knight, and you have the Evo Barbs to defend. Meanwhile, you can stack up golems with, golems with Electro Dragons. This deck did reach the very top of the leaderboard as well. Where is the person that played it? I think it was Alex with two X's. This guy played this deck. Well, he's still playing the deck. Don't forget to Evo. I almost forgot to Evo. Oh my gosh, dude, you saved my butt. Wow, that would have been tragic. Thank you so much for letting me know. I almost forgot to Evo. That was so close. Something x stoop. Thank you so much, brother. I almost stooped to a new level of stupid there. That would have been funny. All right, so we're going to cycle our knight in the back to get to the evolution a little bit quicker. He also does the exact same thing. Went for two seconds and saw a defeat. What happened? LOL. Uh, there was nothing I could do. I didn't really have any way of killing the, uh, killing the Electro Dragon in my deck because nothing could snipe it. So now we're playing the exact deck that we lost to. The strategy from playing Rage is so different since it does damage. Uh, it's not so different. It's different against bait decks. Not different against everything, though. So we could Elixir Collector whenever we feel like it. Which is not now. Would love to activate King Tower, and that's exactly what we accomplish. He did not expect me to do that. Now we're going to go for a Knight really low. Oh, that's unfortunate. He played that really well. That Firecracker should splash into my tower. Let's go Barbaro and kill. 
This is one of those matchups that scales pretty well for us in the later stages, but in the early stages, it's kind of scuffed. We don't know if we're going to be able to get the barbs down or not. We don't know how many firecrackers he's going to shoot at us. Kind of weird. Goblin split sucks because I don't have to respond to it. It's a bad play. Never split those goblins like that. All right, he's going to log right into barbarians. Fine, we can go little prince. And that should kill with one more shot. Wow, that actually took a lot more shots than I thought. But getting the evil out of cycle was nice. I could click the ability. I'm not going to. I think he's going to have Earthquake, so probably no point in me doing anything. Rather just chill a little bit. He's going to Hog Rider, so we'll go Electro Dragon, go Evo Knight, and then we can build up a push if we want, but I'd rather just go in for a Golem and take the one Hog Rider hit. The one Hog Rider hit doesn't matter that much because now we've got Counter Push with the Electro Dragon and the Evo Knight, and we've got Tornado as well. We're baiting out an Inferno Tower. This guy is in a weird spot. Okay, I don't envy that position. All right, we're going to go this and this, and we're fine. Good full counter. And I could kill the... Uh, yeah, I think he's dead. He knows that he's in a bad spot after that one. All right. Yeah, there's the Earthquake that we were expecting. Let's tornado that in. we be able to kill a little bit quicker. Wait, he's going to have Inferno Tower. Maybe he is able to defend this. Mm, the Inferno Tower does make this a little bit more annoying. Not going to lie. Yeah, the Inferno Tower does make this a lot more annoying. Mm. No, I don't want to lose because of an Inferno Tower. I hope I can still win. It's going to be hard for us to make this happen. We have to go Dueling Pressure, I think. Maybe something like this. And then trying to kill it with that. And then maybe go for like an Electro Dragon. And then hoping that this does enough, but it's probably not going to. Yeah, I think we do lose this one as well. Dang, I think that, uh, for whatever reason, the beatdown decks, compared to, like, the fast cycle decks, just don't have, like, the ability to always get the matchups that you want. A little bit unfortunate, because I feel like this should have been a win. I think I played a little bit better than him at the start, but it's not going to matter. And then we make the prediction on top of the Firecracker, but of course the Firecracker will still splash on my tower. We can go for a Little Prince here, and then maybe go for an ability, but he should just be able to defend with a Knight. Like, unless he plays this really poorly. We have to play really aggressive right now, with an Evo Knight, and maybe we can still make something happen, but it's unlikely. As I said before, he has to play really poorly to lose this. I did not think the Inferno Tower would be that big of a deal, but it is. Oh, we didn't even get the... If we got the Chain on with the Evolved Knight, maybe we would have been able to win. Like, if we got the... Um, if we got the Electro Dragon to Chain onto that, and it Chained onto the Tower, and it hit the Tower, maybe we would have been able to kill the Firecracker, keep the Evolved Knight alive, and win. And that matchup actually really sucked. We got two bad matchups in a row with uh, two beatdown decks. A little bit unlucky, but it is what it is. I am definitely better than the people that we just lost to. Both of these guys. This is an unfortunate L. It does happen sometimes. It's not like these guys played poorly. I think the Phoenix guy played really well. I do think I played a lot better than the Hog Rider player, though. Because he did overcommit, but then the Inferno Tower bailed him out. That's the thing with Cycle Decks. I'm sure you guys saw earlier, when I was running Royal Delivery, that's sometimes what happens. We're going to switch to our other account. We'll play a couple games there, and then we'll end the stream on a couple wins. So one second as we switch accounts really quick. We're going to go in black screen so you guys don't get to see. But yeah, we're going to switch to our main account. Uh, where are we at? All right, there we are. I was not planning on doing this, but not expect to lose. Best Evo for their profile? Uh, we don't have to show anyone's profile or anything like that. All right. Um, anyway, where is my mini account? All the way at the bottom, right? Does it even show the deck that I played? Oh, it does. Cool. So I can just copy it there. All right, so we'll show the deck. This deck is pretty good. Obviously, if you're unlucky enough to match into Inferno Tower, you will have a bad time. Hopefully, you guys don't match into Inferno Tower like we did. But other than that, I think it's pretty okay. Let's hope your first game on the other account doesn't start with a loss. It will not start with a loss. I'm going to play my best, okay? I will not lose this game. We lost a bunch of um, first games every single time, but not this one, I promise. Oh, it's a Firecracker, please. Please don't have it in Inferno Tower. <laughs> it's such a bad feeling to be like, I don't want to match into Inferno Tower. That's the only card I don't want to face. Wizard doesn't matter to me. So he spent 8 Elixir. I spent 8 Elixir as well. Okay, he's spending a lot more than 8. Alright, let's go Barbrill here and then go Elixir Collector when we get the chance. 
Firecracker I usually takes three shots to kill with a little prince, right? Yeah, there it is. We can click the ability just to test what he's going to do. Nice. We get a mini P.E.K.K.A. That's so big. That's not mini. That's massive. Let's go. Our little prince is going to trade relatively evenly here. He's probably going to go for a really bad little prince ability in the right-hand side. I bet you he's going to do it. He's going to drop it right into Evo Barbs. He's going to click the ability and it's going to die. Nice. Perfect. Now we go Evo Barbs. Wait, how'd they get damaged? I didn't look. Okay, so I noticed it, but I didn't wait for the interaction to completely go through, I guess. Feels bad, man. That's unfortunate that the interaction didn't go fully through. All right, we always go Knight here, opposed to dropping anything else, because we can get to the evolution, and then we can get another Elixir Collector if we want. I personally don't love this deck as much as my other Golem deck, uh, because the way I see it is I love having the Lumberjack rage up all my stuff. However, when you have two evolutions, this is really the only way or the only version that makes sense to play. We're going to go Golem since we have the Little Prince going at our opponent, and I can build up a pretty big push right now. If he decides to spam on the other side, we do have Barbrill for the Bandit, so it's not going to lock onto our tower. It's going to be a plus one trade for me. And then we can Electro Dragon with an Evo Knight and probably win the game. That's the one thing that is really beneficial about this deck, is having the Electro Dragon gains onto all the opponent's stuff, so then they can't do as much as they're hoping for. And then if they don't have Inferno Tower, they're kind of just dead, because it's hard for them to stop this type of push. Really, really difficult. With the Evo Knight and Electro Dragon, the, the Evo Knight will tank for the Electro Dragon, then the Electro Dragon is just able to chain on forever. And if he drops anything, we can Barbrill make a prediction so he can't get on top of the Electro Dragon. We have like multiple layers of safety, and then we have the Little Prince with another tank for our Electro Dragon, so our Electro Dragon never dies. That's how this deck works. You have the Evo Knight, you have the Golem, and then you have the Little Prince's Guardian tank for your Electro Dragon, so the Electro Dragons will stay alive forever. If your opponent can't like immediately kill the Golem, and get on top of the Electro Dragon, then they're probably going to lose the game. And the later this stage th 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 this game goes, if your opponent doesn't have good Electro Dragon answers, the more impossible it is for them to win. Hopefully that made sense. I just really wanted to demonstrate why this deck does work, and why it works against opponents, instead of just seeing why it worked against me. It is a good deck. Um, it is a little bit more matchup based because it is a beatdown deck, so sometimes you could get unlucky. But not all the time. How does this deck beat Inferno Tower? Just thinking about that card is tilting me. Beating Inferno Tower, so I'm sure you guys saw what I tried to do in the last game. I tried to go in for Barbarians on the right-hand side to distract the Inferno Tower. Meanwhile, what I also did is I went for the Little Prince in the middle, and then I dropped the Little Prince ability. So I had the Barbarians tanking for the Inferno Tower, then I had the Little Prince tanking for the Inferno Tower, and it did break through. It just didn't do enough damage for me to win. It would have won the game if I had Evo Knight and Electro Dragon there too. Too many people with Poison Log... Poison Log does not kill Electro Dragon. That deck is still pretty good. Oh, let's show you guys another fun deck. I haven't done this before, but I'm theory crafting something that could be funny. Let's do this. Imagine a universe where you don't even have a building and you just spam evil archers and skeletons. Oh, did I do it correctly? Or, did I, or am I running the golem deck again? Oh, I'm running it. Let's go. So I would not recommend this for most people, but because I'm a crazy person, I really want to. This will be very fun for me. Because I think mechanically I can make some massive outplays and just do some really fun, stupid strats. So that's the reason why I'm playing it. I'm going Royal Hogs right into the Musketeer. It doesn't matter that much. We can go in for Little Prince here. We could Earthquake. Little Prince is definitely better because it will be able to kill the Musketeer as well, hopefully. Paired with a Log or Earthquake. Or Skeletons plus Ice Spirit. Ooh, Skeletons plus Ice Spirit is probably the play. Ice Spirit off to the side. Nice. That's a nice spirit, guys. And we're going to click the, uh, the ability because we're going to force that extra elixir. And then we have our Archer's Evolution Orient cycle with our Skeleton's Evolution. So this is going to be hilarious. Our strategy with this will be awesome. I want to get to the evolutions. Oh, I don't want to drop the Skeletons here, but I think I have to. At least one of them is still alive. Use Fireball, so let's go for Whale Hogs and then Earthquake. Does he not have Elixir for a cannon? He does, but it's just so late. It's Earthquake here. Since we keep a couple pigs alive, that should be enough damage to put us in the lead. That's really, really good, obviously. <laughs> so if you are unaware, Archers plus anything will kill a Hog Rider completely. If you drop your Archers in the middle. So this will fully counter a Hog Rider. If he drops his Hog Rider. Which he should. Eventually. Whenever he's feeling like it. So we'll go for your evil Archers, then we'll drop Skeletons, and we'll split pigs. Or we'll log. That works as well. That full counters. No damage. And he fireballs. So now he doesn't have a fireball in cycle. 
He dropped Hog Rider, Fireball, and a Ice Spirit. So that's nine Elixir spent. And I spent five Elixir. So you're down four Elixir from that, you're screwed. And you don't have Fireball, so you're going to have to go Cannon, which is a bad trade into the, the Royal Hogs plus Earthquake. Oh, he's going to have Evo Skeletons. He got bailed out. He got a bail out. Bail out, boys. Okay, we're fine. Delivery this. Got a Fireball. Pretty aggressive play. I don't... I don't rate that. I think that's pretty bad on his end. We can go Little Prince Ice Spirit. Click the Little Prince ability be fully fine. Or we go Rail Hogs and Earthquake because he's going to be on the defensive. He's going to go Bomb... Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say Bomb Tower because I've been conditioned to think that everyone has Bomb Tower right now. But this guy is definitely screwed. He's going to go for his Hog Rider into this Little Prince and we'll be fine. We just click the ability. We go Skeleton. Notice how I set up my defense in preparation knowing what he's going to do and still finesse it. That's so cool to do. He misses the Fireball. Uh, we'll go in for a Earthquake on top of a Cannon, completely counter it, and then we can go for Evo Archers in the middle if we want. If we want to flex on him a little bit. <laughs> and then go Evo Skeletons, go Ice Spirit other side, and then try to take multiple towers. I should be running beatdown decks with this because I should be trying to win games a little bit more um, aggressively. Then I can get more crowns, but I'm doing this anyway. Buildings can't evolve, they renovate. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you later, Antony. I hope you have an amazing rest of your night, man. Do buildings get an Evo? It's an interesting idea, not going to lie. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if buildings should get an evolution or spells should get an evolution or anything like that. We'll have to wait and see what Clash Trial comes up with. I kind of hope not, but there's a chance it happens. All right, we're cycling all of our anti-air cards in the back. Kind of a little bit risky, but not that bad. All right, so archers will be able to kill his archers, which is pretty nice. And then... We'll see if we can cook on defense here. I'm going to click the ability. Let's go skeletons, just to be able to pull. Ice Spirit Archers. Oh, I'm in a bad spot now. I think I might have messed up. We'll see. Okay, we should be okay here. Because I do have one uh, Archer left over, so that should be able to kill the Goblin Giant. If that Archer didn't split, we would have been destroyed, I think. <laughs> very, very lucky that we still had one Archer left over. Goblin Giant is an incredibly scary card. It's not a fun card to match into. Anyway, we're going to go for Royal Hogs and Ice Spirit and Skeletons and stuff like that, and then try to Earthquick on top of the Elixir Collector. I would love to be able to hit the Archer too, so I'm going to do that. Nice. A really big trade. All that's dead. We have Evolved Archers on defense, so you can't break through them very effectively. If he goes Goblin Giant at the river, we've got Evolved Archers Ice Spirit, so it's fine. And then it should be able to full counter. All right, let's just do this. All right. Is he not dropping his spells? I'm really confused. I'm seriously confused at what the Sir is doing. Evolved Archer is going to put in work. Of course, I'm on both sides. We can go for Royal Hogs and uh, Skeletons after. He doesn't have the right cycle. He's going to have to Rage, but he doesn't have Elixir. It's Earthquake here, so then the Skeletons maybe lock on a tower. Oh, they didn't start to shoot. Oh, they shot on the other side. We're good. That's all we needed. Not completely, but pretty good. All right, that's what we wanted. We wanted the Goblin Giant to get really far away, so then the, the Archer's... Um, didn't stop. If the archer stopped, then we wouldn't have been able to hit with the delivery and we would have been in a pretty bad spot. He's got to go recruits. We're earthquake for the damage. Archer's here, skeletons afterward. I think we just win. This should be a pretty easy win. So the good thing about this is like, if you got evil archers, they just do so much freaking damage. It's, it's a vibe, you know? It's a nice feeling to have. Especially when you've got Earthquake to counter the Elixir Collectors. So I think that the Hog Rider deck that we were playing earlier is probably the best deck, in my opinion. This deck that I'm playing right now is fun, but it's not near as good as the Hog Rider deck that we played with the Evolution. That was probably my favorite. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else that we like. Is there any other deck that we want to play? Oh, this deck could be fun. But I think we would want to run like recruits or something with it. Uh, is there a goblin giant deck that we like? 
There's a lot of different decks in the game that we could play. The other thing... Oh, it's this, pretty much. Pretty much. Not the exact same thing. But this was my favorite deck. The one with Little Prince. And then it was this. This was my favorite deck. But it, I think it had Rail Delivery, didn't it? Instead of Ice Spirit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had Delivery. This was my favorite deck out of all the decks that we tested today. Y'all can have a different favorite deck for yourself, but out of all the decks that we played, this one really was good. So by far my favorite. Play a couple more games with that and maybe end the stream after. Hopefully we can pop off and win a couple more. Is Evo RG good for this event? I think Evo RG is one of the worst evolutions in the game. And the reason why Evo RG isn't that good, it's really good with Rage in specific matchups. But it's one of the worst evolutions in the game right now because it gets countered by Evo Barbarians, Evo Bats, Evo Archers. Evo Royal Giant is one-dimensional. It does damage and it is a win condition. However, you don't really want something that's one-dimensional. You want something that's good in almost every situation. That's my opinion. That's the reason why I don't like Evo RG that much. And that's the reason that I don't play it unless I'm playing a very specific deck. Cool. So we finished that all off. We do have the ability to go pop the ability there on the left-hand side. And I kind of want to have enough elixir to do that. Please pull the Guardian. Nice. Thank you. Get a Tesla down and then just defend with Skeletons, I think. It'd be the safest bet. Because this Tesla will stay on the map for a while and then we've got Evo Knight, so we should be able to defend against everything. There isn't a single card in the game that scares me. Even the Goblin Giant doesn't matter. Because we should just be able to defend this with the Evo Knight and then Rail Delivery. Perfect. Isn't that cool that you can rely on a 3 elixir cost card to kill a Goblin Giant and Archers and a Rage? Goblin Giant is 6 elixir, Archers are 3, and then another 2 with the Rage is 11. So the dude spent 11 elixir, I spent 3. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to automatically lose the game. Light work. That's kind of cool to have that happen. At least in my opinion. Maybe not for everyone. He's going to Fisherman. He'll activate. No, maybe he doesn't because the bowler is going to mess it up possibly. I hope the bowler messes it up. Oh, he messed it up. That's too funny. Let's go. All right, let's go Little Prince. Evo Skeletons up in here, maybe. All right, we have to click the ability. Oh, this is a little bit sketch. Not gonna lie. I'm a huge fan of how this is happening. Man, this deck does deserve a nerf, doesn't it? The fact that he had Bowler made it way more scary. Man, I think I lost. No! <laughs> Did I actually lose at, like, I don't know, very few wins? I think so. So sad, man. I think I should have defended a little bit more, but... It does show the ease of dropping Goblin Giant recruits. It's not a easy deck to defend all the time. I did mess it up. The guy didn't have Elixir Collector. Instead, he just ended up having the Goblin Giant version. Ugh, tragic. Tragic, tragic, tragic. I'm going to give him well played. We'll jump on to the next one. That should have been a win, though. Yeah, that's not someone I should lose to, Rip. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, we did finish 1,200 in the world last season. So, um, yeah. I, usually I finish top 1,000 to 2,000 in the world around there. Um, some of my older finishes don't even show on my profile, as you guys can see. Top 21 in the world, but it doesn't show up. It's like, it's glitched at 88 in the world, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, Goblin Giant plus Royal Recruits definitely do de deserve a bit of a nerf, in my opinion. I think that Goblin Giant is like, uh, it's, it's a card that can get countered, but the Recruits sometimes mixed in with it, with Evolved Archers specifically. The Evolved Archers snipe the buildings then the Goblin Giant recruits like go through and that's the problem with that matchup. I guess like problem when your opponent has good Hog Rider answers and don't have Elixir Collector. Anyway, it is what it is. Not necessarily a great matchup for us. Um, it does happen. So this one's going to be good. We can go for an Earthquake here. We can finish off the Mega Minion and try to get some value that way. Cool. Been watching you forever, bro. Keep up the good content. Thanks for being so nice to me, man. And thanks for watching for so long. Aragon lost at five and got top 50. Yeah, it makes sense. It's pretty easy to lose early on. Um, like, 
if you end up just getting like a kind of an unfortunate matchup or an unfortunate circumstance. In that specific situation, I think I could have played better and defended, but at the same time, it is pretty unlucky to play against recruits, bowler, or fishermen um, without the elixir collector version. But it is what it is with the with the evil archers because the evil archers kill the building because it's not allowing me to defend as effectively as they typically would. Uh, this game is pay to win. It's not pay to win right now. Like this global tournament that you're able to play in is completely free. You have all cards unlocked. So there are times to complain about the game for sure. But this is not one of those moments. It is not one of those moments to be like, this game is pay to win because you have access to every single evolution. You have access to everything for free. Just keep in mind that there are definitely moments to complain. Just not this one. Uh, for casual, 11 is pretty good, I think. Yeah, 11 is really good for casual players. Good job, man. Congratulations. I also love that our community is supporting each other. It's refreshing to see that. All right, so we'll win a couple more games, I think. Oh, against Royal Giant. Watch this. Look at how bad the RG gets decimated right now. It's hilarious to watch the Royal Giant probably even get no hits. Yeah, zero hits on my tower. Isn't that insane? Like, Royal Giant as a win condition is so flaccid. It's like a wet noodle, dude. It just doesn't do much. It's one of the more unfortunate things in Clash Royale where there are objectively better win conditions. Goblin Giant, really broken. Royal Giant, it's not as good. That's just something to keep in mind. All right, we're gonna try to have fun with this. I don't know if it's gonna work. Don't think so. Unless the skeleton's off. Oh, the skeleton's locked on the right, that would've been funny. Anyway, it's okay. We can kill the majority of his units. Be completely content with our situation. Knock it all back. Knock it back again. This is one of those moments where you know that you're going to win if you just go in for a Earthquake on top of the Furnace and then Hog Rider as soon as you possibly can because there's nothing they can do to stop you. And it's over. GG, man. Even if you go in for the recruits, it's not going to fully counter the hog unless you go for an electro wizard and that does not come down in time. GG. I got one win. Are you proud? Dude, I'm proud if you just beat your old rank. If you're able to beat your old rank, that's what's important. Does it show our old rank where we hit 35 wins? I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that in this one because I got an early loss, which is really unfortunate. But hopefully we can get a little bit higher than that. What is Canario playing? I bet it's recruits goblin giant. Almost 100% certainty that this guy is running Recruits Goblin Giant. Oh, he lost. Scenario lost and got BM. That feels bad, man. Very good player. But, uh... Wotop probably running Recruits... See, all the good players are losing one game early, too. Wotop even lost the game early. What's he playing? Recruits. <laughs> of course he's running Recruits. Everyone's running the Recruits deck, guys. Everyone's running the Recruits deck. Recruits plus archers. That's what people are playing. It's pretty funny that that's the case. I wonder what his last card is. Let me take a look. I guess the recruits archers deck is what most people are playing because they want to get as many wins as they possibly can with as much damage as they can. I'll take a look and see what he is playing, but I think it's probably the recruits deck with, uh, with, well, we'll just see what the last card is. I, I can go and Google it and find out really quick. The last card is likely going to be like either an Elixir Collector or Arrows, and it is Arrows. So yeah, I guess uh, we can play that and test that out without the Elixir Collector, because maybe having um, a bit more of a defensive structure would be better. Like having the Goblins as well potentially allows us for a little bit more shenanigans. Do that. Run Archers up in here. We'll put in the Recruits, and we'll try to enlist an army of Recruits towards our opponents. I do think that the, the Hog Rider deck is a little bit better, for sure, like if you're better at the game. But, man, having evolved archers in this deck with recruits is just so annoying. I never thought that that possibility would be unlocked, but it's toxic because it can allow you to snipe buildings that you typically would not be able to snipe and break through. Kind of funny, though. It might be better to not run Elixir Collector, actually, because if you're just cycling more evolutions, it gives you more value than dropping Elixir Collectors, right? Why not just spam more evolutions? Who knows? Let's go, let's go. Your tag marry me. Dude, I'm married to recruits. I'm married to recruits at the moment, my man. Hey, he's running recruits as well, but he's got it with minor. So I'm glad I'm not running Elixir Collector into that. Well, I have goblins, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Go for Little Prince in the middle. It will be able to lock onto all the recruits. 
and then we can go for archers here. His little prince is not locking onto what he wants, right? Oh, it actually will. Wait, my my little prince wins because my little prince attacked first. It doesn't matter whose little prince targeted the other little prince first. It matters who's attacked first. Like my little prince was on the field first, so its attack speed was faster. So even though his little prince was targeting mine, my little prince's attack speed more than made up for it. Isn't that funny? I think that's kind of crazy. All right, we could go recruits here if we wanted, but I think dropping the goblin giant is fine. He ended up dropping skeletons, so skeletons minor with this is interesting. I don't really know what it is. All right, let's go recruit since we do have a goblin giant. Got in front of tower. <laughs> oh no. Or nor. Or nor. There's an inferno tower. <laughs> it's pretty funny that we're playing against that, but also kind of sad. I did not want to match into an inferno tower today with a goblin giant. We're going to wait for him to possibly click the ability, then we'll go goblins. If he doesn't, then we're fine. He should click the ability because those are archers are free. This will be a tough matchup, actually. All right, we're gonna go goblins and we'll rage. Unless he's got arrows, he's in a bad spot. Because these goblins are gonna wreck him. Yeah, he messed up. He's gonna go little prince, but it's way too late. And he can't escape the fate of losing his tower. Too late, my dude. So really, really good for us. We take those. Hell yeah. All right, so since we have evolved archers, we could possibly even three crown him for more crowns. I kind of want to go for that, but he's gonna have recruits. So we have to get the recruits out of cycle first. There they are, good. So we can go for our evil archers right now. Help out our recruits, and then go in for goblins. No, we're not going to go goblins. We're going to ignore. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Do this. Dude, why? <laughs> it's so meme -y, man. Wait, if we can just keep the archer alive, then we're fine. But I don't think that's going to happen as much as we want. Wait, can we just three crown? Please just give me the three crown. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> That's huge. Getting the three crown actually matters because we want as many crowns as possible. Oh. Seems like I found the deck for this challenge. So boring, but I need the wins. Yeah, this deck is very good. This deck is very, very good. This deck doesn't really require much skill. Um, if you don't want a deck that requires skill, this is probably it because you don't even have to think about Elixir Collector and you just kind of spam the evolutions. This is like... The training wheels deck without the train with like an extra set of training wheels. It's the least skillful deck that we could possibly play in Clash Royale. I think this is the least skillful deck that we could play against. So I, 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 I'm sorry for anyone that has to match into this. I did steal it from Wotop. It makes sense. It makes sense why he's playing this version instead of the Elixir Collector. It literally requires zero brain power. It is hilariously fun. Do you think the Ice Spirit will get buffed? Definitely will get buffed. It's terrible as it is. So it needs a buff. Okay, he's going to go Bomb Tower. That's fine. It doesn't even matter. We're just trying to cycle to our Archer's Evolution so we can snipe the Bomb Tower and then get the Positive Elixir Trade to win us the game. That's all we want. It's just cycle to the Archer's Evolution to win the game. All it is. It's literally the strategy with this deck. It's so broken. It's really funny that that's the case, but it is what it is. So we can go for Rail Recruits at the River if we want. And he's going to be down a bit. He doesn't have the uh, Firecracker Evolution, so I think it's worth doing this. Go Fisherman on top of the Bomb Tower of the Knight. Whichever one it is, it doesn't matter. And then we can Arrows afterward on top of the, the uh, Firecracker. Just going to kill it a little bit faster, and then we could Rage on the Fisherman on the left-hand side for more damage. The Mage, as the French would say. I don't really think so, but maybe. <laughs> uh... Finally able to watch a Sirtag live stream? Yes, sir. Do you like beer? I actually don't drink at all, man. I do not drink. I just don't do it. The worst card? Probably uh, Furnace. Furnace is pretty bad. Furnace in almost every metric is an awful card. I don't think we activate King Tower here. I think the Archers kill the Hog Rider in time. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, the Archers kill. I should have just pulled it to the middle because then the Archers would have killed it and given us a similar interaction. Go Recruits in the back. He can't hog rider me, so I should have just dropped him at the river. It doesn't matter, though. Oh, we're going right into an Evo Knight. Never mind, it does matter. Let's go for Little Prince. Uh... Oops. No one saw anything. 
figment of all of your imaginations. Alright, we're gonna rage and then arrows. Yeah, I don't think that does it die? I think it does. Okay, cool. Yeah, this deck is really, really strong. Uh, it's even good into, I don't know, Inferno Tower because you have recruits. Like, in reality, I don't think that this deck gets hard countered by most things. Maybe it gets hard countered by the bowler version. Like, if you somehow match into the bowler version of the deck and the guy's got bowler recruits with Goblin Giant, then it's more annoying. Like, I matched into the bowler one. So. I didn't lose with this deck yet, but... I might have lost to the the person that we lost to with the Hog Rider deck because he had Bowler as well. Maybe the adaptation is removing Goblins and putting in Bowler if you're matching into the mirror matchup all the time. What's the worst evolution of the game? No doubt it's Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit's awful. I've been watching for three years, almost four now. You never fail to entertain me and teach me new things. Love to hear that, dude. Happy to hear that, actually. My deck counters this. I'm like 20 and 2. Nice, man. Congrats. Hopefully you get even higher. I believe. Okay, we're playing against Goblin Giant, so it's going to be a tough matchup because we are playing against Bowler. As you guys already know, it's not necessarily an easy thing to play into. Oh, he messed up and pulled the wrong thing. Maybe we already won. Huh. Does Bowler cost too much Elixir? Real question here. Who knows? If we can just take the tower, then I think we're in a decent spot. All right, how do I defend this? How dumb am I for trying to activate King Tower against this? We're definitely losing our tower. Oh, that's an oops. Is there any way I could have killed that little prince without like getting destroyed? Was there any shot? Was there a will? Was there a way? Was there a strategy to be made? Who knows? All right, let's go for a Goblin Giant. He's probably going to go in for a Bowler. Right, we can arrows here. Maybe we can just kill the Bowler. We can kill the bowler, then we are in a good position ish. Ish. Oh, that locks tower. That's huge. That's a lot of damage. We take that. That's awesome. So we're in winning point of view right now. I don't know for how long, but we are kind of winning the game. Doing it for the fam. We probably want to set up more recruits towards the left hand side so then we don't like get finessed by a bowler, but we'll have to wait and see. Probably want to cycle goblins in the back if we're getting to a lower card cycle, uh, worse card cycle, but yeah, let's just do this. The recruits fighting on our opponent's side of the map is obviously awful, but that's not good for us, especially since we don't have bowler. This might be traumatic. I don't know if I'm able to defend this. We'll see if we can. You never know. All right, I played that really well, I think. Nice. But we don't do that right now. All right, we'll go for a fisherman. We'll try to go and pull his uh, little prince. We're also going to mute this guy because I'd love to beat him. Get him noxious. It's going to be hard for us to win this, but there's always a chance. This bowler, guys, so obnoxious. It's really, 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 really hard for us to counter. Maybe possibly impossible. Yeah, I think that the bowler version might just counter this deck. We're trying, though. We're trying. Right, that pulled the wrong thing. Yeah, we lose. I don't think I could have played any better than that, guys. I think I literally just lost based off matchup, which is really a crappy thing in Clash Royale, but I guess if you match into Bowler and you're running the Goblins version, you're probably going to get countered. Man, I, did I not just say that? Did I not say that you'd probably lose against the Go you'd probably lose against the Bowler one? But the Bowler one has a, like a it has a weirder card cycle because you're not able to break through the buildings as much. Like you want to run Lightning, but then if you're running Lightning, then you get screwed by other stuff. So I think it's a little bit matchup based, which really sucks because I don't, I shouldn't be losing that game against that guy. I'm definitely better than him. Kind of an unfortunate L, 
We tried our hardest, but there really wasn't anything I could have done unless I played better at the very start. Maybe I could have, like, not lost the tower there at the start and not tower traded because going in the same side, you automatically lose. That's kind of unfortunate. It is what it is. We tried really, really hard. I think I played really well, but stacking up two bowlers, there's nothing I could do. Well played? Yeah. Uh, I got 16 wins and four of my losses were to Goblin Giant. Yeah, Goblin Giant does need a nerf. I, um... I hope that they I hope they listen to us from that perspective. But I did like Oh, have you watched King's Avatar? I did watch King's Avatar. I don't know why I responded to that <laughs> randomly, but yeah, I did watch King's Avatar. Um all right, what else can we do here? Maybe cycling recruits first play isn't a safe play anymore because all everyone else is running recruits. Regularly in most matchups, because most people are not running recruits on ladder, it's a safe play to cycle. Alright, we're going to click the ability here just because we want to keep our little prince alive a little bit longer. It's going to die to a mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, it doesn't! Let's rage it so we can go and kill the mini P.E.K.K.A. a little bit faster. And then preserve our guardian so we can force out more elixir. Oh my gosh, little prince putting in work! Doesn't even die! No way, that's huge. Alright, let's go goblin giant so we can go and kite that. And then we can go archers after. Hmm, maybe not ideal. Wait, we're going to fight on our side of the map. We're totally fine. We'll just sacrifice the goblin giant. We're not going to respond with the goblin giant. Oh, we locked on the tower! One of the spear goblins hit the tower. That's huge. How did that hit the tower? I don't even understand. Guys, we got so lucky. We take those though. We most certainly do take those. All right, we're gonna go for high goblins. So maybe we can pull his units back a little bit. I think we're okay. Nice. Archers are putting in work. Definitely a weird position to be in. There's no doubt about it, but... We take it, you know? We do vibe with that. He's going to arrows as well, so he's spending a lot of elixir. What if he goes Little Prince on our fisherman, or on our goblin giant? I think we can go Little Prince and then try to play pretty aggressive right now because he's not going to have as much as he would want, typically. Like, he'll go recruits in the back, maybe. Harder for him to defend this. I did forget that he had mini P.E.K.K.A. Not that big of a deal. We should be fine with another recruits. Or another goblin giant, actually. Sorry. Yeah, let's just go another goblin giant. Let's run it. This should win us the game. Unless he's going to fisherman. Do you have fisherman in the deck or not? The recruits should die to these goblins plus goblin giants. That's huge. And then we can fight on our side of the map and then kill his goblin giant with our little prince plus ability. I think I win. It's crazy that I actually have to think in these matches. <laughs> like... It's not something I'm used to when we play in, like, earlier stages of the uh, global tournament. Most of the time, I just stomp people, and then we go to the next game, and we're like, ah, oh, very easy. But, like, Goblin Giant, the games are so dynamic that if you make one misstep, you're going to lose against it. It's really ridiculous to see that. It is what it is. Any advice on making a video against these wacky decks with Mirror Clone trying to exploit a card-strong feature? Um, I don't think that Mirror and Clone in this meta works with Goblin Giant or anything like that. Because you're just going to lose to a lot of small spells. If you look at the deck that I'm currently playing, you're going to have a Arrows plus also a Rage. And because of that, Clone doesn't necessarily really work very well. I mean, I could play against people at a lower rank and do that. But for the most part, at like where I want to be around top 1,000 in the world, the players that I'm going to be playing against that on ladder, they're going to be running meta decks. And the meta decks don't allow for me to do as many shenanigans from that perspective, unfortunately. I want to, but... It doesn't work um, pragmatically, <laughs> at least in this specific meta. Hopefully in the next meta. Hopefully they nerf Goblin Giant and allow us to mess around a little bit more. But yeah, Goblin Giant, because it's such a strong card, uh, Ademir, it just, it doesn't really work. It doesn't work as well. I want it to. I want the screw around decks to work a little bit more, but I haven't been able to do as many meme decks as I typically would. All right, we're going to go Goblins here and then go in for Little Prince. Reason why we go goblins later is because the skeleton barrel it displaces all of the cards. So if you drop your units immediately as the skeleton barrel pops, it knocks everything back, and that's obviously awful. If it's going to knock back units that you want to uh, keep alive, right? Like if you want your goblins to stay alive and not take damage, you want to drop it as the skeleton barrel is already popped, like as the skeletons are there, and then you surround. Or the skeletons surround your goblins or surround the unit you're dropping instead of the other way around where the skeletons uh, lock onto the tower. You need the skeletons to lock onto your unit. Pretty bad Mighty Miner. I don't really know what that was supposed to do. Um, 
I think we just win this one. I'd love to take this guy out though and try to three crown him as fast as I can so then I maybe can get up a little bit higher. So let's try to take full advantage of our situation and three crown him if we can. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Even with Evo Archers, we don't be able to, we're not going to be able to break through that as effectively as we want. Uh, maybe with a Goblin Giant though, who knows? Goblin Giant's putting in work. I should have raged it, to be honest. Bit of a misstep on our end. Let's eat the damage so then we can build up a bigger push with another Goblin Giant. He's going to Mighty Miner, so we have this Fisherman to try to stop the Mighty Miner from stopping the Goblin Giant. We can Arrows here. The Fisherman should die. Let's Rage it up because I want a 3 Crown. I really want this 3 Crown. I want more Crowns. I want more Crowns. I want to get as high as I possibly can in this tournament, so getting the Crowns is going to be pivotal. Good Hog Rider, me. I'm not doing that. Sorry, he doesn't have Hog Rider. He just has a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, he has that. Arrows. Let's Rage. I just want the Goblin Giant to lock on the tower. Please. It might be enough. I think it's going to be enough. Barely. Cool. We take it. <laughs> I needed that three crown. It would be so much fun to have another spawner meta. No, 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 no. Never spawner meta. You guys are cooking like crazy. <laughs> I, I can't deal with that. Yo, 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 yo. How about they don't do that? Oh, yeah. Aragon lost at eight wins. He lost at eight wins, and he's also one of the best players in the world. So I don't feel too bad. Ranked 16 player in the world lost at eight wins as well. It happens. <laughs> and then Rain also, who's insanely good. He's finished 259 in the world. He lost three times at nine wins. So there's a lot of really good players that are not having a good time in this uh, this double evolution tournament. Lots of good players are losing earlier than they would want. Tons of good players. Do you still enjoy any other games? I play TFT with some of my friends sometimes, but not that often. I love Clash of Clans and I played that with Judo Sloth and there's a video. You guys can check that out in the pinned comment. Another shameless shout out to that video. That, that video was awesome. So yeah, if you're talking about other games, Check that out. I did it with Judo Sloth. It was a lot of fun. I'm 10 and 1. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. All right. So you look, you look like snow from the Hunger Games movie. Dude, what a, what a nice compliment. I, I never thought I would ever make it into a movie, man. I'm honored. You ever play Call of Duty Mobile? Never. Actually, I think I did for a sponsorship. I don't really like FPS games, though. I'm not very good at them. All right, we'll go goblins here, and we'll see what else we can do. Maybe we can cook a little bit. Oh, I should have tried to activate King Tower, but I decided like it wasn't going to be uh, worth. <sighs> it's fine. We've got a fisherman. We've got a guardian. We've got a lot of stuff counter pushing up in here. And we're going to go archers because we want to get to the evolution because that's how skillful players play. And we'll go for a rage because this will probably win us the game. I just don't see any universe where this Electro Dragon stays alive, and that's a lot of Elixir spent. It's five Elixir. You have to think about it from this standpoint. You are spending five Elixir. You are down Elixir. You have no ground defense after spending five Elixir. You are dead, sir. <laughs> now we three crown another one. <laughs> Let's go. You're the only reason that Clash of Clans videos didn't do well. You were low level in that game. Oh, really? I, I feel like... I feel like level doesn't matter in those type of videos. You look at OJ, his level is extremely low. And like most of his games that he plays, um, he'll like do like level one pushing, right? Like he'll just start a brand new account. I think that's not the case, but I'm open to any feedback that you guys have that you didn't enjoy the video about. And uh, yeah, I'll try to integrate that into my content and make the content better in the future. So if, that's a, if that is actually the reason and a lot of people say that, then I'd be very surprised. Anyway, we're gonna three crown this guy. So we'll just move on to the next game already already know too easy light work love to see that <laughs> light work as we laid, lit his towers on fire can you rank all the evolutions yeah i got you evo archer is the best evolution evo knight is best at high level gameplay but evo skeletons are better at lower levels evo skeletons are really really fun uh so evo archers evo knight evo skeletons evo recruits then i think we would go evo bats then Evo Mortar, and then Evo Royal Giant, and then Evo Ice Spirit. I think that's all the evolutions. I don't think I missed any. So that is what I would rank them. Hopefully that helps you guys.
You do not need to have evolutions to use them in the tournament. That is correct. All right, all right. Let's go recruits in the back and see what's happening. Can you play any meta decks without the evolutions? You can run some. I think you could run a golem deck without evolutions. I think golem decks do work without evolutions. But that's pretty much it. That's really the only thing. The thumbnail needs to have you mouth wide open. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you that I didn't do the uh, generic YouTube thumbnail. I'm so sorry. I'm very disappointed in myself as well. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right, so we do activate King Tower here. That's always good to see. Tesla's out of cycle, so I think we just go in with the Goblin Giant and then bam. This should be really good for us, obviously. Raged up Goblin Giant. Arrows here. We might have already won the game. Amazing. Yeah, so this this shouldn't be the case, you know? <laughs> uh, you missed Barbs? Uh, you missed Firecracker? Oh, I did miss Barbs and Firecracker. My bad. Yeah, so Evo Firecracker is an Evo Barbs. Evo Barbs is like better than Mortar. So it's like fifth best, I guess. And then Evo Firecracker is better than Mortar as well. So Evo Firecracker and Barbs. But Evo Barbs are better than Firecracker. So hopefully that helps out. So after Evo Recruits, it goes Evo Barbs and then Evo Firecracker. And then that fills the void of what I had before. Hopefully that makes sense for everyone. But yeah, Evil Royal Giant sucks. Regular Royal Giant's not that good. Evil Royal Giant only works with Rage. If you're doing a gimmicky Rage play, then it works. That's it. That's the only reason to play it. We could click the ability here. Going right into a Tesla doesn't seem very good on our end, but maybe it'll lock onto the tower because he's not paying attention. Okay, we got Skeletons. So that's a negative two trade for us for one hit. I don't think that's worth it for us. Evil Royal Giant, do we just shred it with... Evil Archers? I think we do. Because he doesn't want to spell one Evil Archer, but he kind of has to. Think about it from that standpoint. If we go Recruits, we might even be able to pull the Royal Giant to the other side here. Which I should be able to accomplish. The Goblins, do this. Nice. That's yeah, all dead, no damage. It's just a bad card comparatively to the other ones. When you have so much damage potential, it's hard to get the Evil Royal Giant through unless you've got Rage. And that's the only way it works. Oh, I think we 3-crown again. Thank goodness this guy's going to give me the 3. I think he's going to give it to me. I really hope he does. Oh, he's not going to. Shame. It's such a shame that he didn't give that because he could have. Aw, uh, GG. I was hopeful that he would give it to me because then I would get further and further up the ranks. And more, uh, more crowns, but he didn't want to give it to me. Where are we at? We're currently at 18 crowns. Let's refresh this. Am I really the lowest? No, I'm higher than uh, Sleeping Static. Where am I? Darian has more crowns than me. Dang it, Darian. I hate you. So Darian did lose once, right? OJ lost at 15. Where's Darian? Yeah, Darian lost once. I'm in your clan and I'm 15 and 2 now. Congrats, man. Keep climbing up. You got this. Would you say that you need Fisherman in this deck? I would say you probably do. Fisherman's a great card. It's really important to be able to pull Evo uh, units away and also Little Prince. It can pull the Little Prince and yoink it. So I'll show you guys one of the reasons why I love Fisherman so much. Watch this. We win this interaction and then we go Recruits because we pull his Little Prince. His Little Prince dies. And then we can click our Little Prince ability, or just Rage, I guess. Ah, uh, that could have been so much better. Rip. I spend a lot of Elixir, too. He's going to arrow us. So typically, what you want to do is if you go Goblin Giant, and they go Little Prince, you can pull the Little Prince with the Fisherman, and then it kills the Little Prince. And it's so broken. That is one of the reasons that Fisherman's really good. It's also great against people that are running big beatdown decks like Electro Giant or Goblin Giant. You can pull it to the other side, activate King Tower. There's a ton of different reasons to like it. All right, so that's a pretty bad fisherman for obvious reasons. <laughs> obvious reasons are obvious. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. He's in a terrible spot now, so we're going to rage this up. We should be able to kill the fisherman and then lock tower and then probably win the game. That's the reason that you don't cycle your fisherman in the back. Otherwise, you're just going to lose your tower. Oh, wait. 
Fisherman against Little Prince. Another amazing interaction. As long as he doesn't Goblin Giant or recruits, and he obviously does. So. Feels bad. We're going to go recruits here. We're going to let the Little Prince lock onto our tower because we don't have any other ability to do anything else. We might have lost the Little Prince here. I hope not, but... Can we just kill it? Thank goodness. That was so sketchy for a second. And we barely got out alive. Oh. Speaking of getting out alive, I don't know. Thank goodness. That was really bad. Huh. Wait, why would you Elixir Collector? What? There's no way! There's no way that works. <laughs> okay, we take that. That's awesome for us. How did that stay locked onto my tower, man? What the heck? All right, we're gonna go Goblin Giant. I don't know if I win this anymore. I'm kind of sketched by this situation. I think we're okay if I just arrows. That was one of the worst games ever. Like, he made a bad play, but he got bailed by it. It's kind of weird how that works in Clash Royale. I'm not a huge fan of how the games are really chaotic and crazy because sometimes people that don't know how to play their deck can get away with it and then get counter push because the games are so crazily aggressive. They can find damage when they don't necessarily deserve it. Like if you drop a fisherman there, in my opinion, you deserve to lose the game instantly. Like there's no recourse or way for you to come back, in my opinion, but it still happened for him. The, the, the amount of damage that the cards do is crazy. It's a lot. Currently watching you at work. Is there dominance? Dude, I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying my hardest. Would you put in log for arrows? No, I would run this deck as is. You could put in bowler instead of goblins if you really wanted to. Because if you're playing against a lot of bowlers, you probably might need it as well. So that could make sense. I think bowler might work instead of goblins. We'll try it after this game. I'll put in bowler just to see if we can beat other recruit stacks. I do like goblins for a faster cycle though, so it's kind of hard to make that choice. It's really hard to definitively be like that. Let's go here. So archers. Man, these games are crazy. Just so much damage happening all at once. It's actually insane. He doesn't have a great card cycle right now. The Fisherman is going to work. What? You're really going to drop goblins on the little... Dude, if I just click my ability, you were instant dead. That's insane that he would do that. And get away with it. But whatever. Is he dead now? I don't think he has Elixir, so... He dropped a lot. Yeah. Oh, man. Recruits my bail. I, I ended up dropping into Recruits. is not good. I have to rage this up so we can kill some of them. And then fully focus on the other side. Man, it's so obnoxious that I don't have Elixir. I can't pull the Little Prince. I'm going to pull the wrong thing. Tough. Tough, 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 tough stuff. Weird situation to be in, for sure. There's a Royal Giant in the middle. Could be a problem. I hope that doesn't hit my tower. Fortunately, it doesn't. Let's just go for this. Is the Fisherman actually going to take the tower? That would have been insane. That would have been crazy. These evil archers are going to stay alive, though. That actually put in work. All right, we're still alive. For how much longer? I don't know. <laughs> I think I lost. I don't see a universe where I win this anymore. That yeah, was kind of an unfortunate game. Like, I don't love the recruits versus recruits matches. So let's go and run Bowler and see if we can uh, just play a little bit more defensive and win. 
That might be the strategy, guys. It might be the strategy just to run Bowler and vibe with that. Who knows? Let's test it out. Because we're playing recruits versus recruits every single game. I think the Bowler would definitely make a bit of an impact. Let's test it out and see if we can win with that. Also run Fireball instead of Arrows, but I kind of like having Arrows because we are able to kill the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Let's just put Bowler. There's too many recruit matchups, man. It's too much chaos. It's too much chaos. It feels like... I'm not able to defend against the recruits, and I really want to have an answer to it, so that's why I'm doing it. So, oh, wow, really? Okay, well, he's going to probably give us a King Tower activation, hopefully. Or did the recruits kill it? No, the recruits killed it. Dang. Ram Rider at the start of the match. Well, whatever. Our deck works a lot better in the later stage of the game. Also, since we got Bowler, we can go and cycle that right now whenever we want. The Archer's split is decent, but... I think just cycling the bowler here is a bit safer. The one bad thing about this is like if we're not playing into recruits, the bowler isn't as useful because the goblins allow us to cycle to more archers and it allows us to cycle out to um, other cards a little bit more decisively. But if everyone's running little prince and everyone's running recruits, bowler is pretty good. Bowler is pretty good. Elixir collector for the goblins. There's different versions of the deck. I've already ran the elixir collector version. Elixir collector version does work too. There's a lot of different versions for this deck, man. What's a good free-to-play deck for RG? Uh, Royal Giant isn't that good at the moment, my man. Would not recommend playing it unless you're running, like, Royal Giant Rage. Which, it does work, but... I think that Royal Giant, if you wanted to play it, free-to-play version would be Evil Archers, and then run regular Royal Giant. You want to run Evil Archers so you can snipe buildings for the Royal Giant. Alright, so... Fisherman's pretty good against the Little Prince as well, because it pulls it. And then the Little Prince, it will just die. And then the uh, Guardian doesn't get that much value, because the Guardian is isolated away from the Little Prince. Alright, Bowler's going to put in work. Nice. Maybe not. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Alright, so we're just going to let the Bowler do its thing. I'm not going to support it or anything. We're just going to let the Bowler die. Alright, how important is Rage for this deck? Rage is really important for Goblin Giant. The reason why Rage is so good with Goblin Giant is because you're not just raging up one card. You're raging up the Spear Goblins on the back of the Goblin Giant. So you're moving the movement speed of the Goblin Giant. You're raging up the actual attack speed of the regular Goblin Giant. And then you're raging up the Spear Goblins that are on top of the Goblin Giant. This guy didn't want to play the match. He just left. Makes sense. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are going to be similar to that. They're going to be like, yeah, you know, I don't really want to play against this deck anymore. And it's very understandable. It's not, it's not a fun deck to match into. First time catching you live. Love your content so much. Aw, dude. Thank you for the vibes. Galton's for goblins for a faster cycle. That could work if you really wanted to, but not like the best thing in the world, man. All right, let's get 15 wins. Let's win all these games in a row. Oh, 20 win player. Let's go. <laughs> Boycott level 15. Honestly, dude, I feel like that's what should have happened, but one of those things that Clash Trial decided to do it. They did it anyway. Oh. It was crazy. I didn't level up anything into level 15 for like six months. It was crazy. Um, excuse me. Don't you know who I am? And then I realized that I couldn't play this game unless I leveled up my stuff and I couldn't create content anymore. That was uh, that was that was the the order of operations for me. Kind of have to level up to level 15 to play competitive Clash Royale now. All right, so this guy's got Expo, so that's obviously a very good matchup for us. We do have recruits with a lot of spam. Let's click the ability. See if we can get some damage. Let's rage up the Guardian so we can get more value. If the Guardian goes towards the tower, we win the game. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. A little bit unlucky with that, I guess. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of not really. Uh, he's got to go Expo if he wants to get damage, which is not going to happen. Also, each Guardian Slash does exactly 200 damage at tournament standard, which is really satisfying to see, at least for me. I like that. Also, it's surprising to see someone running a deck like this, because I don't think it works very well. He should just get out damaged by our stuff. Um, me. Don't you know who I am? Like, even though he's going to get an elixir advantage, I don't think it will be enough of an elixir advantage to break through. I'm pretty confident that that's the case. I might be wrong. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, we get to show you the interaction again. So finally, watch the fisherman versus the little prince. The little prince now gets fully nullified by the fisherman, and it's a great interaction instead of dropping the bowler, because the bowler costs too much elixir. 
The fisherman kills that for three for three, and then it forces a log, and then he's not really cycling things that apply meaningful pressure. All the cards that he's cycling right now don't do anything to me. That's one of the reasons why I like this a lot more. If he goes expo, we got Goblin Giant. With the ability just to make sure that he has to spend more elixir. He's never been able to successfully elixir collector up. We do not have the elixir for the recruits, but we will have them soon. All right, we go recruits, and then we go in for archers, evolution, and then we just spam everything to our heart is content. Oh, that did not kill. Okay, though. All right. This guy played really well. He's obviously a good player. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to do anything to me. But he lost his elixir advantage, so he's in a bad spot now. And just cycle recruits to get to the evolution a little bit faster. It's probably safest bet. Then go archers. Like, out of all the plays, that's the one I like to do the most. If we kill the Evo Knight, that's awesome. Bowler in the back is nice, because then we can just go Goblin Giant left-hand side and be okay. Like a little Prince here, click the uh, Rage. Wait, he might have outplayed me. Unless I can get the ability down. I think I can get the ability down, though. Nice. Awesome. Guy's really good at the game. I did not expect to play against someone at this caliber, at this skill level. Very, very good player. Insanely good. It's unfortunate that he's going in for expos on defense because he knows how to play the game. If he didn't expo at defense, then he would give us opportunities to go in for aggressive plays, but the defensive expos precluding the potential of me getting stuff that I want. Alright, yeah, because like the defensive expo is blocking us really hard. It's like hardcore blocking me right now. All right, we're going to go for Evo Archers and then see if we can get damage. Hey, he thinks it's a good game. I think I won as well. We'll have to wait and see, though. All right, we're going to Rage. We do have Evo Archers on the map. We've got the Goblin Giant locked and loaded, and then we can Arrows with Evo Archer. That should be enough damage to put us in a pretty big lead. I don't think he's getting out of this one. All right, I think the Bowler is better. I think the Bowler is better. It has to be better, right? Let's go click the ability if we need to, which we shouldn't. And let's go in for a Goblin Giant other side. Actually, screw it. Let's click the ability so we don't lose the expo. There's no shot that it happens, but there's always like some small chance. The bowler is so obnoxious. I'm gonna I'm not gonna fib. I I do think the bowler version is better in this deck. It's just it kills Evo skeletons, it allows you to be worse at the game, and I lost against so many bad bowler players today. <laughs> so I feel like it's just a little bit better. We're going to give him some love, and we'll wish him good luck in the rest of his games, because he played better than me. He's obviously a very good player. I think this guy's probably better than me at the game. We'll have to take a look. I do think he's better than me at the game. Yeah, he's at the same skill level, so probably better, because he's playing Expo, which is a higher skill deck. He's probably better than me at Clash. This guy is 1,300 in the world, and that's what I was last season. Um, around that, maybe I was a little bit higher. But he was running a more skillful deck. If he's running an Expo with a fast cycle with Elixir Collector, he's obviously better than me at the game. So That guy was very good. Very, very good player. That doesn't happen very often, you know? Most of the time, it's just Goblin Giant spam, just like us. <laughs> but So it's, it's rare to see someone that good at the game that we're playing against at uh, global tournaments. It does not happen that often. Double Evo is evil? Yeah, I agree. It's pretty Evo. It's pretty Evo. It's pretty disgusting. Oh no. Or or nor. I can't believe you would do such a thing. So if he arrows me, I'm screwed. Thank God he doesn't have his arrows. Oh, it killed the balloon before the second shot. That's huge. Alright, we're back to the recruits evolution soon, so this will be fun. Alright, do I goblin giant right hand side and pray that he doesn't have fishermen? I think that's probably the play. Pray! Don't have fishermen today! Oh my gosh, beautiful. This is what we're looking for. This is what we wanted, my dudes. This is all we wanted for Christmas. Let's rage it up. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that delicious damage. All right, then we go recruits after the knight hits our tower a couple times. We do have our little prince, so we're fine because he can't minor me. He's not allowed to minor because he doesn't have the card cycle for it. Because think about it from this perspective. If he minors on defense, he's not going to get back to it for a long time. So we're fine. Recruits? 
He probably has arrows, honestly. But let's go Little Prince and not get finessed by arrows, okay? Oh, he's got Snowball. Interesting that he would do that. He gets like two shots. I guess it makes sense. Oh no. Or nor. Or nor. We might be dead. <laughs> oh, it's not good. I'm not clicking the ability. That would be super stupid. Well, we might have lost. Or nor. Don't do this to me, bro. He's going to balloon me because I don't have anything. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Or maybe we're good. Oh, we're so talented out here. Oh, baby. <laughs> There's no way this worked. What the hell? I just spammed all my stuff and it did stuff. No way. It's beautiful, baby. Let's go. Kill it. Kill it. These recruits are probably not it, but we're doing it anyway. Okay. All right, we're going to lose the tower. But it's okay. It's fine. We want more towers anyway. Please. Please. Okay, I might have messed up. Might have done a noopsie. Haven't decided it's a noopsie yet. Wait. Arrows? Rage? Rage the skill? Rage the skill? Rage the skill? <laughs> Talented! Oh, what did I just do? I just elbowed the desk. <laughs> the IQ of a Goblin Giant player right now. I'm surprised I didn't click end stream by accident with my elbow. That would have been awesome. Okay. All right. Well, that guy was also a little bit better than me, I think, too. That's funny. I, I, he played better than me that game, at least. Oh, that's hilarious. The bowler shot? Dude, I don't, I don't even understand. Real for real? You're such a menace with these double Evo decks? I know. I know. I am a menace. I'm a massive menace right now. You're such a troll. I'm not trying to be a troll, dude. I'm just stupid sometimes, okay? All right. By the way, in that video with Judo Sloth, I know I'm shamelessly shouting it out again. Links in the pinned comment. I was a troll the entire time and he started laughing at me. He's like, Jake, are you actually like, I think he was thinking, Jake, are you actually this stupid? In reality, I was. <laughs> he, he didn't know that I was that dumb. I don't think. Because I couldn't even find like the clan chat. It was, it was, it was funny. It was a good time. All right. So let's go and pull that so it doesn't hit my tower. Please don't lightning me, daddy. All right, thank you. So I can't activate King Tower with that. Oh my god, why is it hitting my tower? Okay, it only hit my tower once. Let's Goblin Giant the right-hand side. He's probably dead. I don't think he's allowed to do that. He spent all of his elixir. He has negative elixir right now. My man is drier than a desert. Now his towers are a desert. Or a desert, too. I don't know. Desert, desert, same spelling, right? Not really, but, you know, this was an easy win. Jesus Jr. is not coming alive again. He is dead. Jesus? I think it's Jesus. It's a, it's a Spanish name. Um, Yeah, so we win this one. Jesus! Yeah, it's got the accent. The accent aigu. Or not the accent aigu. That's French. But it's got the accent. Can't wait until Supercell's charges $500 for every evolution slot on ladder. <laughs> Don't give them a monetization strategy, dude! What's wrong with you? You trying to get them to finesse us? You want that to happen to me? Come on, man. Bowler is a magic archer. Yeah, Bowler is pretty good. I love this deck. This deck is this deck is awesome. Does Sir Tag sell any merch? I do not sell merch yet. Yeah. Okay, this is awful gameplay on my end. I'm like trying to lose the game. 
I think we're okay though, even though with my best attempts to lose, we're still winning. It's it's beautiful, baby. Also, can we just talk about how this guy got this high without knowing how to manage Elixir? I think that it's easier to get higher in this type of tournament if you just run a lot of splash damage. That's why the bowler is good. Because this guy's got bowler and executioner. Case and point. You want to run in splash damage. If you don't necessarily know what you're doing, you might be able to win games against people better than you. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to three crown you today. That's fine by me, buddy. There's no chance you defend this. Again, mismanaging this elixir. That there's just no shot. We've got evil archers. You're going to get shot down, my dude. Ice Spirit should have been playable. <laughs> yeah, they should have buffed it. <laughs> oh, GG. They definitely should have buffed it. You learning French? No, I learned French and then I forgot it. Yo, Wotop's at 20 wins. So a lot of really good players are struggling right now. He's way better than that. EGW as well at 21. This guy finished 43 in the world. He's one of the best players in the world. And he's only got 21 wins in this. A lot of people struggled. A lot of people struggled in this tournament. That's kind of crazy. Oh, ale yeah, this guy is insane. I wonder what he played. We can actually take a look. I'll take a look for you guys and see what, what he played. Maybe we'll play it in the game if we like it. He's one of the best players in the world as well. He always does well in these tournaments. Uh. Oh, it's X Ale. I'm an idiot. Oops. So this guy played Hog Rider, Bomb Tower, Earthquake, Rail Delivery with Evo Skeletons and Knight. So I'll show you guys the deck that that guy played. He, he's at 31 wins. So he ran this. He ran basically the same deck that we were running earlier with Tesla, but he ran it with Bond Tower. And it's just so strong. If you play it well, it's really good. I guess the Bond Tower is there to beat down all the people that are running uh, like Goblin Giant and low skill strats. So all of us. <laughs> He's just like, never again will I lose against that. But yeah, if you're good at the game, you should probably run this. But not everyone's good at Clash Royale, you know? Not everyone is as talented as Ale. This is the deck that he played. For 31 and 0. 31 and 0 losses is the deck. This one. I personally prefer Tesla, but I guess Bomb Tower is better in a meta where no one's running Lava Hound. There isn't a single Lava Hound player in existence. Yeah, he's in the back to get the evolution. Hog Rider! Ooh, we know it's going to be Archer's Evolution with Bowler. Full skill. Full skill, just like us. Two shots. That's huge. All right, we're in a log and then we're in a delivery. And then we can go in for a knight as well. Just to guarantee that we don't lose to the goblin giant. With the bomb tower, I think we're okay. Like, I think we should just go skeletons and be okay against the spear goblins. Pretty much a perfect defense. That's good. We take those. And we cycled our evolutions a bit faster than our opponent. Nice. Everyone's running the two Evos? Yeah. Everyone's running archers. Everyone is. Literally archers everywhere. Want to use our little prince here? If he clicks the ability, it's fine. I'm gonna disrupt it with a log. Hog Rider. I spent a lot of elixir there. He should activate King Tower with the Fisherman. He missed it. Oops. Oops. I mean, that should have been a full counter with the King Tower activation, but I guess a lot of people don't necessarily know the placement. I'm going to go Knight. It should pull. We've got Evo Skeletons, so that's huge. The one thing about Evo Skeletons, it will full counter one of the lanes of the recruits. One of the lanes. Because there's four of, four Skeletons, one recruit. Sorry, you need to have four Skeletons on the recruits. Do this. Drop them here. Good counter. Uh, we're taking a lot of damage in the left. I don't love that. I also should have hog rider in the right. My bad. Bad gameplay on our end. It happens, though. I think I should go Evo Knight with a hog rider. And then maybe mess up his fisherman. We'll see if this works. 
This should be hard for him to counter. Yeah, he's going to pull the uh, Evo Knight instead of the Hog, and then we should win. So see how I played that? I identified that the Buller was out of cycle, and I took a lot of damage on his tower with our Hog Rider. Hog Rider! So, not necessarily the best gameplay until then, but I think that was pretty good. I'm proud of that. Wow, is this actually going to kill me? Yup. <laughs> but I guess if you're not one of the best players in the world, defending against Evo Archers is really tough with Goblin Giant. Wow. I can't believe how difficult that is to defend. He didn't play very well, and uh, he won. I guess because I didn't have Evo Skeletons in cycle to defend one of the sides. If I had Evo Skeletons in one of the sides, I think I could have won. Sometimes I wish I was a girl so I could be Sir Tag's wife. What am I reading? <laughs> I appreciate you, man. You're funny. All right, let's try one more game with this deck because I, I don't want to lose. Uh, I don't want to end on a loss at that. We'll, we'll win one game with it. That last game should have been a W. My bad, guys. How are you? I'm doing really well today, man. Just vibing, enjoying some time with you guys. Relaxing. This will be the last game of the day, I believe. We're just going to end on a W. And show you guys that this deck is good if you're better at the game. If I saved my Evo Skeletons, I think I would have been fine. So, unfortunately, I didn't play my best. I don't think that last guy was very good either. So, it was an unfortunate L. If we lose against someone that BMs like crazy, that makes a couple misplays, that we outplay because he cycles the bowler in the wrong spot, I think we should have won. Oh, this is going to be a tough game. Because the guy, if you're thinking about it, he's going to have... going to have Bomb Tower of Minor Poison. Not easy for us to counter. All right, we're going to Earthquake on the Skeletons. He's going to log. That's not going to be enough. That should be two, three shots on the tower. Three at least. Okay, awesome. Good gameplay for us. If he goes Minor Poison, we want to catch it with Skeletons and also uh, a Knight. But I think I'm just going to go Skeletons on top of the Delivery so he can't go same side as me. We do not want him to go on the same side as me. That's how I lose. Also, another thing that we can do is we can go for Little Prince in the back. Give him to Poison. Like our Knight on the Miner, that will probably be on the right-hand side. We catch it? We do. Beautiful. This is going to be our best game. I'm going to play perfect this game. I believe. <laughs> I promise. I promise we got this on lock. Light work. I'm going to go in for our hog rider here. We'll click the ability because we want to go and tank for the hog as much as we possibly can. Or at least the little prince. That ability was bad though because we want to outcycle him. That was a pretty bad ability. That didn't do much for me. It did actually nothing. It was the worst play I could have done. I wasted three elixir to allow our opponent to get a faster cycle on us. Okay, we're going to go in for our Evolved Skeletons here. That will full counter. I do want to go for Knight in the right-hand side, just so we can force out some extra Elixir. Maybe even a Bomb Tower if we're really lucky, but it doesn't happen. We can go in for a Little Prince, and then we can go in for a Hog Rider when we get the chance. He didn't drop a building like we were kind of hoping for, but it is what it is. I could maybe get the Little Prince closer to the tower here. Okay, we're forcing out a Bomb Tower. Little Prince locked on the tower for a Rail Delivery. That's a good trade, because he's trading 7 Elixir for 7 Elixir for us, and we got damage on the tower. Now we can go for a Log. We can go for Skeletons, we can go Knight, and outcycle the Bomb Tower, maybe. If we're lucky. I didn't play this very well, but I think I can. We're at 7 Elixir right now. Let's go Hog Rider immediately when he's not at enough Elixir to get back to the Bomb Tower. Let's Earthquake for damage, because we need it. And it's going to slow down the rest of his stuff. Oh, we even hit the Bomb Tower. That's great. It's huge, actually. We may click the ability. If he clicks the ability, then he slows down his card cycle. So that's good for us as well. Since he's not cycling a card, he's not going to be back to a Hog Rider counter immediately. So he needs a lot of damage, and he's not going to get it. We're going to log and we're going to kill everything. We're going to get back to an Earthquake. He hasn't been able to poison very often. All right. We want to start cycling a little bit more, I guess. Go for this. Skeletons, Hog Rider to get to the faster cycle. He might poison on that. And he does. That's interesting. I don't agree with that on his end. If he's able to full counter the Hog Rider with only one hit, that's kind of bad for us. We do need to go in for a Knight to counter his Knight. Okay, we got some damage. He's going to be back to Bomb Tower, so this is unfortunate. We're going to have to Earthquake on it. We're going to try to get a faster cycle. We're going to get the three-card cycle again with Little Prince. The Bomb Tower allowed us to get one hit. That's huge. I guess he messed up. All right, he's dead, I think. As long as he doesn't go Evo Skeletons, I think we're fine. He does go Evo Skeletons. We need to get a Knight down, or we're dead. If he poisons this, I'm actually screwed. Okay, we're good. Nice. So we just beat Minor Poison. 
That's a good W. We take those. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I use... Uh, oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Is Sir Tag British? No, I'm not British. But we did pop off today with that game. We had our own little tea party, guys. And we teed off on our opponent's towers with the Hog Rider. So, as you can see, this deck is a little bit more obnoxious. Playing the Bowler version. If you want to play Bowler, Recruits, Goblin Giant, you can be really bad at the game and win. I would highly encourage you guys to play Bowler, Recruits with Goblin Giant and Evo Archers if you want to win and be bad at Clash Royale. But if you want to be better and you want to like hit 31 and 0, the best way of doing that is improve your skill and play this Hog Rider deck. This Hog Rider deck with Bomb Tower, it is capable of crushing the Bowler deck with Fisherman if you do what I did, where you go in for the Knight to body block the Fisherman, you can maybe make some things happen. So great deck to play, a little bit harder to play, but it's worth it. And this deck uh, is the version that we played at the end with the Bomb Tower because Tesla isn't necessarily impactful since Tesla is not going to be needed since you're not playing against many air cards. Anyway, Minor Poison does not work as well as Hog Rider Cycle. I would not advise that because think about it from this point. If you're running Knight, you're going to be tanking for your Hog Rider and you're able to make a lot more plays happen. People are playing really aggressive with Fishermen and Recruits and Miners can't really find their way through that as often. Minor Poison isn't as good as Hog Rider in this specific game mode. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day. Check out the pinned comment if you want to see me play Clash of Clans for the first time. Or if you want to see a fast cycle evolve Skeletons deck that is ridiculously overpowered, check out the pinned comment there as well. There's going to be another deck that I showed how to speedrun wins in Clash Royale with. And I think I pushed up pretty far on the leaderboard. You can check out that deck or you can check out the Clash of Clans video. Both of them will be in the pinned comment. I'll start spamming the Clash Royale video in the in the chat right now. So if you guys have uh, haven't watched that already, highly encourage you guys to watch it. I ran Evolve Skeletons and we slaughtered our opponents. So I'll see you guys later and good luck. The best deck for the tournament, you can go and rewatch the video, but this Hog Rider deck is the best one if you're good at the game. Otherwise, go and run Goblin Giant with Royal Recruits and use the Evolved Archers to snipe buildings and you'll win. No matter where you're watching, no matter when you're watching, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more content. Like the video if you enjoyed. And yeah, likes go a long way. Subscribes gives you guys notifications when I go and post videos, which I post every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern or 12 p.m. Pacific time. Anyway, peace. Love ya.